I'm so excited about this puzzle. Hi, it's me, Scott. It's a mess back there. Don't look back there. Um, this Blobs puzzle. Blobs, Blobs sent me this puzzle last night, and I, I looked at it for like 30 seconds, and then I had to just stop because I felt myself getting sucked in already. Um, very excited about it. So excited, in fact, that I forgot to do all the stuff I'm supposed to do, like uh, post on Discord that I'm starting a stream. So let me do that quickly. Um, hi, hello. It's Friday. Um, I'm still on sort of a unintentional staycation where I just spend all my time doting on Bowie basically all day, every day. I am trying to, I'm trying to do a thing where it's like every day, just do one, one thing, just one, one thing, you know, life is just an infinite checklist of things that you don't really want to do. So I'm trying to, uh, to do stuff. Got taxes going on. It's not good. Anyway, um, what is good is this. Very excited about this. Let's go over here. Um, this puzzle looks beautiful. I already see, I think I already see insane things going on. So we're just gonna have to like get into it. Um, <clears throat> but first let's pick a background like so. I feel like we need like some underwater kind of thing. Right? Or like an ocean. Oh, look at those beautiful. Those are jellyfish, not angelfish, but we just do fish. I do like the jellyfish. This puzzle is called Angelfish. I mean, the jellyfish are not. Okay, th that's too beautiful. Let's just do that. Oh no, I don't want audio. Oh, you can make it nighttime. I'm sorry, I'm sure that is so loud. I'm sorry. I don't know how to get at, once I'm in like the full screen mode and inside the, the, uh, Page interactive. Okay, I apologize. I'm sure that was insanely loud. Okay, we got a beautiful aquatic environment. We have some rules here, which look relatively straightforward. Kyle, buddy, how's it going? Sorry to deafen you. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along a pink line can turn a consecutive sequence in any order. So these are just red bands. We've got some croppy dots over here. We have a little sequence of croppy dots here. Um, and we have a black crafty. And that's it. That's not it. It's also another Volt puzzle. So this is the fourth of Blobs's Volt puzzle. Hey, Helio. Um, fourth of Blobs's Volt puzzles. Blobs out of control with these bolts. Um, this one looks interesting. It has a high sum, which is what I was talking about last time. But the, this Rinban arrangement is going to do weird things. I can just see it already. Anyway, so the volts just mean these are insane cages where repeats are allowed, but anything that, that um, any digit that is outside the volt but orthogonally touches it cannot be repre represented in the volt anywhere, which is a pretty interesting thing. It lets digits kind of see into places that you would normally not let them expect them to see in. Like this digit, for example, is obviously not here in box three, but it touches this whole volt, so it's also not in any of those. So interesting. So, the thing that just instantly caught my attention when I looked at it. Let's restart the timer, by the way. Um, that's the wrong button. Kyle's ready for this. Okay, so, what caught my attention is, I believe these are all five cell rim bands. One, two, three, four, five. And there's nothing weird about these rim bands. They're just regular old, good old fashioned rim bands, right? And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight of them. But every one of these is a five cell rim band and has to have a five on it. That means every five in this puzzle, with the exception of the one that's in the center box, has to be on a rim band. Isn't that true? Furthermore, you can see things like in, in, in this arrangement of cells, Ignoring this rim band down here. These two rim bands right here have to have a five each. That means one of these digits has to be a five, right? One of them is gonna have the five on its body. And then one of these digits is gonna be a five. And I think that's gonna be true everywhere. And I think that means that this is always a five. 
Is that actually true? Like it, this Ren Ban, one, two, three, four, five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, has to have a five on it. If it's five is here, then this is a five. Or if this is a five, then there's a five here. So there's never a five in here. Maybe that's not quite true. Maybe it can be here or here. Is that true? That there's a, a five. Does that mean there's always a five on the tail end of these? If there's always a five here, and because of these two, there's always a five here. And because of these two, there's always a five here. And then once we do this, don't we know that the five is here and here and here? Because there's definitely a five. This guy's five cannot be in here. It's definitely in here, meaning this guy's five is here. And that's going to place all of these fives. So we just instantly get eight fives. Is that true? Helio seems to agree. So our fives are kind of just gimmies. And then every... We have nowhere to put a five button here. which seems to check out in terms of the rules of cages or vaults, like this five is inside, but this five is this, neither of the fives are adjacent to this. So that seems, okay, it's a beautiful. That is, it's such an interesting break-in and we haven't really even thought about vaults. That was purely just on this crazy, we haven't thought about the vaults. We haven't used this given seven. We haven't thought about the Kropke dots. It's just this crazy property of this Rindan pattern. It almost feels crazy that this, I mean, I, whatever. I'm sure there's like a Googleplex of possible uh, Sudoku configurations, but it just feels surprising to me that this is just such a nice arrangement of Rin bands. It seems surprising that nobody has tried it. Probably somebody has, right? Um, so we get the fives for free, which is exciting. Um, but then we're gonna we're, we have to think about the other extremes are gonna be a little bit crazy. Um, because ones and nines, again, with the exception of what's in the box, there's eight ones and eight nines. Mm, that's not strictly true. Never mind. Sorry. Well, there's at least four ones and four nines that are on. Uh, on the outer perimeter rim. Meaning somewhere in here is a one and somewhere in here is a nine, which is going to push that particular rim band to be extreme. Same thing here. Same thing here. The thing that makes it a little more complicated is that like they can escape like off of this rim band. One of the high, one of the extremes can. That's true. That is also true because it could be shared. That is true. Hey, Elm Damasi. Okay, I'm, I'm eroding everything I said. Yeah, because you can escape. You can escape off to the side. That still means... Okay, the, the, I exaggerated the point, but the, the fundamental point, I think, is still true, that at least in here, there is a 1, and that 1 will be on an extreme rim band, and there is a 9, and that 9 will be on an extreme rim band, and those are obviously two different rim bands, right? Um... And in fact, this is just gonna be, because of this five. Is that true? I don't think I was about to say something that wasn't true again. He was continually saying falsehoods. Hmm. Um, sevens down here, we're slightly interesting. There's no seven here. 
Seven touches this blue box. Sevens can't go on a uh, black crafty dot anyway, and seven is not a five. So there is a seven here. And then down... I almost had a broke puzzle for a second. Down here, we can't... There's no sevens in here, and there's no sevens touching the box because we definitely know there's sevens in the box. So we know there's a seven... Seven down here is definitely inside the the bounds, the boundaries. This digit is slightly constrained in that it definitely can't be extreme. You, know, you can't have a one or a nine here because that has to be the, the middle of a sequence. That sequence also can't include a five. So this is a kind of a constrained sequence, right? This sequence is sort of interesting. It certainly doesn't include five. So this sequence is either fully above or fully below five. And this can't be one or nine or five. But it could still be two, three, four, six, seven, eight, I guess. Couldn't be seven. So this isn't one, nine, five, or seven. Could be two. It could be three. It can't be four because four would require, um, yeah. Two can be in a sandwich of one and three. Three can be in a sandwich of two and four. Four would have to be in a sandwich with three and five, and we can't have five, so we can't have four. Five is obviously not in here. Six could be in a sandwich. No, you can't have six, I'm sorry. Six would have to be in a sandwich of five and seven. Um, you can't have seven. You could have eight in a sandwich of seven and nine. So I think these are our options for here, which is a bit constrained. If this is on the low side, like, well, I guess, yeah, if it's a two, then things are pulled quite low. I mean, this is either a low or high digit. I'm wondering if like polarity is something I should be thinking hard about in terms of high-low polarity. Blackjack Fitzpatrick, how's it going? I'm... These are not, I'm not super excited about pencil marking these but maybe I will just while we're thinking through stuff. So if there's a two in there, then this is a one, three pair. If there's a three in there, it's a two, four pair. If there's an eight in there, it's a seven, nine pair. So not, not beautifully. Well, that does mean this, okay, well, this parity matches too though. These are all of the same parity and these must be of the opposite parity. Um, right? These are all above or below five. So these are all above or below five, but they can't both be on the same side. We also have a lot of restrictions here. Entropy. I would think of entropy as low, middle, high, not just low, high. Polar polarity. Is that what, what did I say? Did I say parity? Sorry, I meant polarity. I'm sorry, polarity, polarity, high-low. Yeah, in entropy is, entropy is whether it's low, middly, or high, right? Isn't that what we normally use for entropy? Whatever it is, I'm sure I said the wrong thing, so I apologize. Highness or lowness, um, polarity. Um, So I guess that my point is, whatever my point is, is whatever polarity 
these are, which let's call them red. Um, these will be the opposite. We don't know if these are high or low, but these are these are opposite because they have to be. And this is a bit constrained as well. Um, not outrageously constrained, but a, a bit constrained. I'm trying to think about how that affects this. The, uh, hmm. I mean, the fact that there's a five on here means that th these could be of either. Depending on kind of where they are. I pink was probably not a very good color for that. I just don't want to use my normal colors. I'll do red and green for now. I just said pink's not a very good color because this is already pink. This is kind of the minty color, so we'll allow the mintiness to stay. Um, Normally, I would be all over a black to get it like this. So the, the downside of all this thinking is it's not actually touching uh, anything tremendously useful for us. Where is the last red digit in box one? That is a great question. But I, I, the problem is, is we can flip. This doesn't have to be the same, does it? These are three digits on one side of five. And these are two digits. You're saying if it's on the vertical, then both both cross polarity. Is that not allowed? I guess I was in my mind I was allowing for that. But maybe that's not actually Is that is that a forbidden? Well here's this is gonna make me feel better for no reason at all. Now I feel better. Um The lowness, we couldn't escape over here. So yeah, I don't quite have my mind wrapped around that. Let me think about that a second. This is either fully above or fully low. And it's fine for these to be extreme, right? If these are extreme, then that extremity, whatever extremities we make use of here are gonna get pushed pushed along. One of these, we, okay, we know that one of these is extreme, right? That is true. You need middly digits to sandwich the five. If it's going to cross. So in other words, in addition to having a five, that's not enough. You do need some middliness. Um, I apologize. I still feel like I'm not quite wrapping my head around what we're, what we're talking about here. Um, just thinking about... Um, Well, we can rule some things out. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I think this is not what you're pointing out, but I just, I'm just going with what my brain is seeing. I think um, yeah, that is that is true, right? If you do cross polarity, you can't have extremes. So let's think about extremities. And I think I'm not looking at what you're looking at, but I think we're we're on a similar track. It's just thinking about extremities here. Um, can this digit be extreme in either way? And I'm going to say that maybe it can be. Let me just think about that for a second. 
Um, for this to be extreme, then this is guaranteed to be two and this is guaranteed to be three. Sorry, this is one. This is guaranteed to be two and this is guaranteed to be three, which means this is guaranteed to be two and this is guaranteed to be three and this is guaranteed to be four. And in that case, right, four is red. That, that forces this to be extreme. We'd have the same thing with nine, eight, seven. This would be eight and nine, and this would be a six. So if these are extreme, we need the middly digit that is on the proper side, because as you're pointing out, we can't cross, we can't cross over. Um, It makes it so I, I'm sorry, I still recognize I'm not looking at the thing you want me to look at, but just thinking about what that means in terms of extremities here. Which maybe this doesn't matter, but it becomes um, maybe that doesn't really matter very much. Okay, let me, let me, I feel like I'm doing that thing where I'm just not, um, where I have to just go about it my slow and silly way. So forgive me, forgive me my slow and silly way. Um, did play seven in here. Just want to think about sevens a little bit just because just cause, cause they have my attention. So seven, um, t it's, seven's just touching a lot of stuff. So it just has my attention. This, this seven is touching our minty cells. So it's not in the minty cells. Um, seven is also touching this lavender cell. So it's not in the lavender cell. And we placed a seven here. So it's not touching those. It's not touching there. Maybe that doesn't really matter. Sorry, I thought that was gonna be more more restrictive than it actually is. It was a fool's errand. I'm curious about the seven. Over here, I can escape up here. Okay, sorry, I will, I'm gonna try to wrap my head around what we're, what we're discussing here. So extremeness. We have one more red digit to place, and we have two more green digits to place in box one. It doesn't seem hard. Just trying to think of what it's like to just keep extremities fully off of these. Like if this was nine eight seven, and this was one two, you could avoid extremities on the extremity. Is that a silly way to put that? Extreme digits. But we do know we have extremeness up here. We also have this 26 just staring at me like a weirdo. The four highest digits together are... Well, that's kind of funny in terms of this, actually. But it seems like there's too much leeway here. Because the four highest digits sum to um, 30. but that gives us lots of wiggle room to not include any of those. 
It excludes some low digits. Really, it only excludes one, right? Because these, the three, we tried to have a one. These would be 24 and one would be 25. So one is in here somewhere. I don't feel like that's very useful at this juncture. These cages are called vaults, which might be a new rule set to you. They're, they're definitely new to me. This is, I think, Blobs' force vault puzzle. So they are a funny kind of cage where repetition is allowed, but any digit that outside of the vault touches the vault is not allowed inside the vault. So this seven here means that sevens are not allowed anywhere inside Lavender Land or Mint, Minty Land. Which maybe means we could think about sevens here. The sevens are not in minty land. Oops. Sevens are not applied. One of you people is a seven. I definitely am still wrapping my head around it. I think the my challenge with um vaults is I just have like some default perception of cages that repetition is not allowed that even without thinking about it I will kind of like subconsciously decide that um something is not allowed and then that won't be true it won't be true at all um just thinking about these a little but I, I, don't, I don't think it's quite useful yet this is a little bit interesting like this I mean, I really recognize that there's something going on up here. It's just, it's a little hard for me to see. Um, So are we talking about the difficulty of trying to stick a red here? Because that would mean we have a red and then we definitely have a green and we definitely have a... Which means both of these are split. Is that what we're upset about? And let me say that one more time. If I try to put a green here, then this is split. And then that means this is also split. Oh, is it as simple as that? I, I mean, because, oh, gosh, okay. Maybe I'm making this way too complicated. We have said that of these three Ren bands, of these three Ren bands, two of them are required to be extreme, right? Isn't that something we've said? Two of these are required to be extreme. But as soon as I put a red here, these are both split. Okay, is it really that simple? Was I making things way too complicated? Probably. If I put red here or here, this is green, so this is split. And this is red and green, so this is split. So red has to go here. Is that what we're saying? Is that the truth? And I was just making that way too complicated? Are we happy with this? Or did I jump to some conclusion that is not reasonable? Okay, I see. I, I guess I was thinking about it in a, in a slightly more abstract way, just meaning that without knowing anything else, I know that th of these three Rin bands, two of them have to be extreme. And if I put red here, that means two of them are split. So kind of even ignoring the, I mean, I think we're kind of saying the same thing and I'm just saying it a slightly different way. So does this, am I doing this correctly or are we not happy with this?
So that means this digit. Well, we don't exactly know that, right? Because this, it, this, this is still allowed to be split as long as these two are extreme. And this is allowed to be split as long as this is extreme. So I still don't necessarily know what's extreme or not, unless there's a better way of thinking about that. This is only extreme if it's all red, because this couldn't be all green. We don't know very much about that yet. We should not think we do. Oh, okay. Well, right. This is. I'm not sure this is exactly the next thing to look at, but you can see that this is. This is also of a single polarity. I feel like I'm mixing it. To me, parity means zero or one. I guess it's just from like error checking, but. And polarity means positive and negative. So I, I, I think I'm, my definitions of both of those words are slightly different. Okay, so Helio is asking about the additional green digits. That's a great question because why? Because we need three more green digits up here. And if we tried to put two of them here, that would mean this is a split parity line, but we'd still... If we tried to put two green digits here, we still have to put one green digit over here. And that means this has split parity and this has split parity. So that's not allowed. If we put one green over here, did I say that correctly? No, I'm not sure. That was two with one over here. So this would be split parity. Sorry, polarity, polarity, polarity. Um, if I did one here, we solve the same problem, right? Because that would be red and green, and then this would be red and green. So that sort of feels like we can't. We have to, another way to put it is we have three greens that we have to place and we're not allowed to make two more splits. So putting anything over here is gonna cause a split. So does that mean that these, these are the greens? And that green is high? And that these are red? Um, are we happy with this? So I had three to place. Any combination of putting any over here would leave leftovers here and I would have two splits and we're not allowed to have two splits. We're only allowed to have one split parity. Okay, so we're happy with this, cool, thank you. That means that green is high, right? Because we've placed seven up here. No, 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 sorry, seven could be down here. Boo, don't do that. Yeah, thank you, thanks for the tomato. This pesky seven. That's why I, I normally don't. I try to avoid like weird split puts marks, split puts marks like that. So, is there a corollary? We know that it is. You can't have more than two um, splits. But are you required to have at least one split? 
In other words, do we know the nature of this one? That also means this is a sequence, right? This is just straight up a sequence. Also, this one could still split. It's still possible for this one to split, right? Because this could be red. So we know this is the sequence. This is either one, two, three, four, or six, seven, eight, nine, for sure. Because it's fully on one side of the five. This one actually could still split if this one doesn't. That would mean you that, that would mean this had to be extreme. If this digit was extreme. Column one colors. Oh, we got a lot of reds to place, huh? Okay, but that, I, maybe I just don't know the answer to this yet. But it, it still feels to me like it's possible for this to split if this is red. But that's only possible, excuse me, if this, there's an extreme digit here and there's an extreme digit here. I guess we think that's okay. Hmm. So we have hundreds of reds to place. Where do these hundreds of reds go? Or, you know, four of them. So there's at least two reds here. And there's at least one green floating around in the world. Oh, the thing, I don't know that I fully articulated. This is definitely green or red, right? But we don't know which. Like, it's fully green or it's fully red. And if it was fully red, that would be a lot of red. That would mean these were all green. Yes, right. So I certainly have reds in here. Um, but what? Um, doesn't that still allow... I mean, these obviously both couldn't be red. I have two reds here. Okay, so I really have three reds here at least, right? But I could... One of you people could be red. Well, no, I'm sorry. As soon as this is red, there's not enough reds for this one. Is that what you're gently trying to point out to me? If I make this red, then this is a mix. And yeah, if, if this is red, this one's a mix. And then I don't have enough red for this to be a sequence anymore. But it's, isn't it? So are we saying this just is green? I don't know that I know enough about the composition of this. It feels like this can't be red because that means this line is a mix. It has red and green and this would have to have red and green. So I think this is green, which is probably what you're telling me to look at. Okay. Um, see, Hilliard, the thing you've really got, I'm sure that you know this about me right now. I will have some insight and I will repeat that insight as no, ad nauseum and then I will forget all about it. I will completely forget about whatever the insight is. So, there's at least three reds here. So one of you people is red. Thinking about this. 
we potentially have three greens here. This is not a mix, which does, that means this is allowed to be red, right? There's, this is not a mix and this is not a mix. So that means this is allowed to mix if it wants to, if this is extreme. Which is interesting. One of these has... How does that work? I was going to say one of these has to mix, but I guess that's not true. We could have those red and these all green. Yeah, this guy's sneaking around like a little creep. I kind of want to think about this, but it just seems like this isn't that useful yet. Um, I want to I want to know about nines in the world because it feels like we're There's absolutely an extreme digit on that. Is it required to be here? Don't know. Okay, we're probably not done. Yeah, we've got to do more stuff down here, right? What are we doing? What else is left? Some reds. We got four reds to place. We have one more green to place. There's one more green to place. But this could be a mix with this as red, would be allowed. Oh yeah, we talked about that, right? That this, this, these two digits are the same. Is that what we're, Where's my pen tool? Or would I rather do that with the alphabet tool? I don't know. Um, whoops. Stroke my shortcuts are struggling here. What is that? How do I get to the uh there we go? Right, because this has all of the digits on this. This is all of the green digits. These four are all of the green digits and we can't repeat on a Ren ban. So those digits are the same digit. These digits are these digits. Yeah, it actually seems like the yeah, like the modifier keys seem different with the letter tool. Maybe that's my imagination. Um, it means if it if if this was green a green domino, it'd have to be those. That's not strictly true. Well, is it? Oh no, that's kind of funny because those are. Do I know more here? What am I missing? So. We need. is fully low or it's fully high. We don't we haven't placed anything inside here yet. It definitely has some 
flak digits in there. thinking about where else A goes, and I'm struggling. Like, A, I mean, A's down here somewhere, right? For whatever that is worth. A is not red, and it's not five. If A were here, it'd be touching purple, and that would be kind of interesting. Um, A's down here. A's definitely not five. If A was touching purple, A sees these digits, and if A was touching purple, it would see these. A is not red, and A is not five, but it could still be seven. That's annoying. So A. A could be here only if A is 7. We're looking at the red digit in the vault in box 4. Okay, is it, right, is it that, um, how's that going to work? Yeah, I see what you mean. This, this digit, call it B. Where's B living? What's B doing? So B is um, one of these digits. B is in here, right? And B down here, B is not five, B is not anywhere in there. B can't touch this cage because B's in that cage. B is not red. So B is almost on this line, which would be kind of interesting. We know there's, I mean, we know there's a red digit in here. I guess it may or mayn't be B. Is this as tight as we can get with B? Can we do better with B? In this land, B is not in there anywhere. B is not touching Periwinkle. B is not touching Periwinkle. B could be on the black dot. Or B could be over here. I feel like we were kind of getting somewhere with A, a little bit. This was interesting. This was an interesting thing. Like A touching this, touching this is so close to being interesting. A is definitely not in there. A is definitely not five. A is definitely not red. So A is one of these three digits. And it could be this. I mean, A is is definitely one of these three green digits. It's certainly A. It's funny. Gosh, it's 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 very it's like very tight. So, um, 
if this were a, then seven is a, and then a is up here, but it can't be in green. So that's a seven. And that means one of you people is A. And that means one of you people is A. But I, that doesn't feel, I don't feel like I quite have it. it. Doesn't feel like that's a requirement. It feels good. I like it. If that was a seven, this would have to be a six or an eight. But it seems possible that one of these is A instead. And then A is somewhere else. Somewhere else in the world. But I like that thinking. I, I like this thinking of like where like this red digit. I shouldn't have mixed A, B, and C across red and green, probably. Probably that was an unwise thing to do, but here we are. Um, this is a B, C pair, right? That's what we said previously, that these two digits are these digits. But B is definitely in the cage. And C is definitely out of the cage. C is touching the cage. So C down here, I don't know if this is, is as interesting. C is not in here. Yeah, it's already rolled out of the cage and it, it could be touching it. So I don't think that's as interesting. C, C feels not as cool. Ah, but B and C are also sequential. These digits are sequential. Okay, okay. It feels like there's something here. Um, it feels, that feels like a lot of pressure that these two digits need to be sequential. Is forbidden from being extreme and one of these is B so the thing I just I don't even wrap my head around this but the the um, like this sequence is this sequence right I don't know how to put this 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 digit is extreme within its sequence. Like it could be one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. This digit can't be middly within its its polarity. It can't be middly, which is a little weird. So that means it's either it could be one or four. as long as it's one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one, or whatever. And th But then it could also be kind of an extreme within the upper polarity, meaning it could be a six or nine. Am I making this D? I feel like my letters are not wise. In fact, let's just do this before I regret it. Let's say this is not A. Let's say this is um, E. And this is A. 
Just so ABCD are all red digits. So, that's sort of interesting. That this is a like a an inner extreme, but it feels like it could also be like the true extreme. This is allowed to be a true extreme. But if this is a true extreme, this is a true extreme. So this is an inner extreme. It's four or six. So if this is one or nine, this is four or six. We ruled six out of here because we couldn't have five there. So if six is red, if six is red, it can only be here. It can only be D if six is red. I don't know that that was tremendously helpful. I mean, that feel, it feels like there's there's like one more deduction to be made in here, and I'm just not quite. Oh, that means this isn't seven, because we're saying these digits are this these digits, and there's a seven right here. So this digit is not a seven either, right? If I try to put a seven in here, then one of these is a seven. So this is not a seven. So that makes red really want to be low. Red wants to be low so bad. So if red was high, it would have to be nine, eight, seven, six, and then an eight, nine pair over here is the only way that would work, right? Nine, eight, seven. That means, right, that means this can't be a nine because this could only be nine if that was nine, eight, seven. So that is correct. This is not, that could never be a nine, which I kind of, for some reason, didn't feel like it could be. I don't know why. I had sort of convinced myself that extremities were here or here, never here. And I don't know exactly why I convinced myself of that. Maybe that's not true. No, because you can have an inner extremity. You could have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, but that does let us, I think that potentially lets us, let me think about that for a second. Does it mean that these two digits, ugh, it almost does, but I don't think it quite does. This could be nine, eight, seven, six, with a nine, eight here. It really feels like there's like one more thing going on here in terms of what's allowed up here, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, I guess it could be like one, two, three, four with a three, four here. So maybe there is a little more leeway. And this could be four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, four, three, two. Yeah, I think there's still some room. A random and intricate direction? Um, if you, I prefer just like guidance on like, hey, look over here. And then if I see it, it's great. And if not, then I prefer to find another way. But 
I'm 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 very picky about Blobby's puzzles, and I want to feel like I solve them, even if I really secretly it's like Helio and Skojo nudging me along the way, and Ellen Tomasi and everybody else. So I'm glad to have hints, but I like them to be hinty hints, if that makes sense. The preferred way is always tomatoes. So if you can click the stream and throw them. Um, it does feel... I mean, maybe that's the maybe that's the end of the uh, the deductions there. We narrowed it down quite a bit. It's still, I would we're so close to having the polarity. You know, I had to pay to get my license renewed, Helio, and it, the, for some reason the fee was $94, and I thought of you. And in my head, I heard the person say, okay, you're all set, that'll be uh, $94. Which, is that really how much the how much gas cost when that movie was made? I know it's, it wasn't like too far away from a major fuel crisis, right? That seems like a lot of money. Blue Brothers really had to pay $94 to fill up that tank. Um, this digit, I just was thinking about it a little bit. That if it is red, maybe that doesn't actually matter. Did we think about B in here yet? That's my favorite kind. Super intricate. Uh, deductions that don't actually advance the puzzle is a beautiful it's a beautiful thing um maybe b is not tremendously useful here but just thinking about our red digits in this cage b is not in here and b can't touch the lavender cage from the outside. But that's not that exciting. And C is not here, and it's not in the lavender cage, and it's not five. C is not 7, but 7 could be here and C could be here. I'm kind of shocked we don't have clarity yet. That seems like a thing we should have. Maybe there's just not more... Remember how? Remember what a, a, a simple gift those fives were? How Blobs just gave me those fives. And then... Okay, do we have anything cool over here? What's cool over here? Um... We seemingly ruled a 1 out of here because 1 plus 7, 8, 9 is only 25. So 1 is out here. If one were on here, it would mean this was extreme, and this would definitely be one, two, three, four. But we could have eight, seven, six, five here. Or nine eight. Six four. Did we think hard enough about our letters yet? Or there we can you think harder about them? This is a BC pair. 
One of these at least is absolutely right. Did we not think enough about this? Maybe we didn't think enough about this. Uh, oh, a silly lime green deduction? I love silly lime green deductions. What do we know? What do we know about lime green in box six? You know, seven is in here somewhere. Seven is in here somewhere. What else do we know? Well, we know seven is in here somewhere. Because, and it's not down here. Uh oh, Blackjack's got to figure it out. Um, oops. Seven is in here somewhere. Not a true statement. Seven is in. It's not here because of that. It's not here because of that. Seven is in here somewhere. Could seven be E? I think that seven can still be E. Seven's definitely not B. I, I think I'm missing your. Is that is it all about lime green? Do I need to be thinking about lime green? Is that the secret here? All I know about lime green right now pertains to sevens, right? Is that all I? Is there something else I can cram into? BC. Two, five, and eight. Are our volts communicating? Okay, this is an interesting digit. I'm not sure this is what you're talking about. Maybe, maybe it is. This digit is not up here. Well, maybe a better way to say that is like, where is this digit in these boxes? This digit here is not in there. And this digit is touching uh, periwinkle. Periwinkle bleh. Um, so it's not in here or here. That means this digit is here or here. This digit, so it's not here, and it's not here. Which is sort of exciting. Does um, can I go one further than that? It's 
seven. Still seems to be allowed. This digit is definitely over here. I need more box five consideration. This one. Actually, this one. Maybe we already talked about that. This digit is not in there anywhere. And it's not these that are touching green. And it's not five. And it's not this digit. OK, is there a beautiful lime digit that I'm missing? So let's see. This one doesn't quite seem to be that one. power of lime. I believe it. I believe there's a very powerful lime digit. Fully believe that. Kind of want to get rid of my letters and re-letter lime uh, in this box. six and five. Okay, I'm, now I'm feeling behind and embarrassed. Um, I'm just going to blindly think about digits then, I guess. So this digit is also, okay, like this purple column and this pink column seem pretty powerful. Just in terms of uh, letting these two digits. So what did we try? We tried that one. But this digit sees down here as well, right? So this digit sees all of this, and it's not five, so it's up here. It's also a limited kind of from a limited set one two three four six and eight just because of the black crop key um this digit sees down here so it's over here and up here this digit is less cool this digit sees this digit looks like this It's not a seven. Or a five. Oh my gosh. Why can't I see the magical digit? This digit sees a whole lot of pink. It sees a fair amount of green. Bear with me. Um, Sigit cannot touch. Sigit does not be touching lime. <laughs> what is this? What, what is this? Do you? I was about to say, do you think I can't read it if you don't put spaces? But I kind of can't because my attention span looking at chat is about one half of one second. And uh, I can't believe that works. If you don't put spaces and things, I can't read them. No, that's good. I like it because it just instantly somehow like trigger some kind of springer brain so like um some no i appreciate that is really that's very it's surprisingly effective because with my quick glance at chat 
it becomes impossible to parse. So that is very, very astute. Um, okay, I mean, I definitely can recognize that this, these digits are allowed to look deeply into other realms, especially vertically. it could still be seven. I keep feeling like I'm going to find some reason something couldn't be seven. That's not as... That's never seven. Of course. Well, it doesn't matter. Seven's not here, but... That's not a five, seven, and nine or not on a black crop key dot, obviously. Um, okay, I'm embarrassed that I'm not seeing this. I believe you. This digit is not any of those, and it can't touch green. So I'm looking for this digit. It's not any of those, and it can't be anything that touches green. Why? Okay, I feel like I'm just missing something very obvious. This one? Did I check every single digit except for this one? Or was it the one outside, the one in box two? I thought I tried this digit. What's with this jerk? This digit in this box, what do we know about it? It's not there. It's not any digit that is touching green. So not you, it's not five, it's not you and it's not you, right? This digit is in green, so it's not any of these, it's not five, and it's not either of them that are touching green, which also puts that digit down here. Oh, <sighs> okay. <gasps> Life is yours, how's it going? Yeah, we're doing a, a, a Sudoku Tech, Sudoku Tech Friday. We're touching, we're touching pink. Right, okay, I'm sorry. This digit in here, it sees all of these. This is in the green vault, so we can't touch it. We can't touch it. We can't touch it, right? Um, and it's not five. And But this is also touching the periwinkle vault, so it's not there. So these are the same digit. Whatever this digit is, is this digit, right? Is that what we're happy with that? Is that what we're working towards? This digit is this digit, which means this digit is not seven, so this is not seven. Is that what we're working on? So this is the seven, which has some some power. Okay, thank you. I, I am embarrassed that that took me so long. Skojo, how's it going? Okay, that that is lovely. And I feel like I checked every single digit on earth, except for the one I needed to check. So, okay, great. Now we see it. Um, oh my gosh, Life is Yours is drunk. I knew this day would come. Life is yours, when are you gonna come visit in America? You can come visit me. I'll take you to the Rose Garden. Skojo, I had never really watched a GeoGuessr stream with it with like much attention before, but it looks really fun. Maybe I should start maybe I should start geoguessing. I've I've seen it like for the crazy international ones that I would just have no idea, but it felt I felt like the ones you were looking at today, um, Felt, I don't know, it kind of felt manageable to me. We know there's a six in here. 
to bridge this five. Yeah, okay, and I recognize, right, you're saying that this digit, whatever this digit is, what is this digit? It's not C or B or E or five or seven. We, I need you to just come vote illegally. What board games did you play? Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I, I guess I had just never had a sense that I could be good at it at all. Cause I'm seeing people like in some obscure Eastern European country in some tiny rural city knowing what it is. And that's all I'd ever seen before. The idea of just doing it in the US, I feel like I have enough general US knowledge and also seeing kind of like how you did it today, like look for signage and stuff like that. Zero Tan, thanks for the raid. Hello, guess and guess. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming by. I'm just uh, doing a bad job at this puzzle because I'm chatting too much. We've determined that this digit is here, but we're running out of like ways to demark digits because this digit still could be D or A or E, and it could be green or red. So I don't know how to mark this digit. I guess we do know. So you're saying, how do we mark this digit? I kind of want to like make it an X. Digit X. Okay, this is digit X. Um, I could do the pentacle. Something I've thought about that I think, sometimes I think I would like, especially trying those genetics puzzles, that it would be sort of nice to have layers of notes, but I also, maybe that's insane. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, maybe I'll try at the end of this puzzle. Maybe I'll try my first um, attempt at guillotine. So, Digit X in this land is not down here because digit X can see this. Digit X is not anything that is adjacent to lime green land either. So it's not there and it's not there and it's not five. But doesn't that, is that enough? Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's not adjacent to green land, but couldn't it be either of these? music is very inspirational um sorry helio am i missing something i'm probably just missing something something that's interesting with these sevens that we haven't thought about at all well this seven at least so these could be x's so there's some world in which x well x is, in, is not seven so we know that much but I'm not seeing a way to rule out Xness any more than this currently. Exitude. We do get X down here for whatever that's worth, which doesn't seem to be worth very much. Count line digits. But now I'm distracted by this because now there's definitely a six on here somewhere, right? But I guess we don't know. We don't know where. We just know there's a six in here. We'd said that if, if red was high, that six would have to be here. And if that was true, the six would have to be here. That's only if red is high. Sorry, Helio, I think I missed your, I think I missed the point here. Yes, let me scroll down on the rules. This is Volt rule. This is based on a, on a Volt rule set, in case you're not familiar with that. Yeah, the, the fives were amazing. That was, a, it was a beautiful break in life is yours. The way we got the fives, we got the fives within like five minutes because it was just given away in a very elegant way. Um, it was very charming. It was just, the, basically, all of these pink lines are called Ren bands, and they're five cell sequences, meaning there has to be a five on them. And this is the only way we could lay out fives. How many lime digits? I'm calling four. 
Wait, are we talking about lime or are we talking about green? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay. This is what are we? These are this is uh, this is mint. This is this is like mint breeze. Maybe I chose poor colors. I think I chose poor colors. These were just supposed to be temporary colors because I thought we were going to get our. Um, I thought I would know our polarity by now. We do not. Minty digits. Okay, let's count the minty digits in column six. There's a lot of minty digits. A great many. What does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? What can we do with it? Since, since we can repeat in minty land... Do we know something about that? About mintiness? But you can't wait. I'm, just, I'm just, I apologize. I feel like I'm really not um, because minting, mintiness can repeat, right? Like we're allowed to repeat within volts. Or maybe you're probably making some other point that I'm just not understanding. Like, is there some? Is this restricted to some set that I'm not understanding? But wait, couldn't, like, this minty digit can still be, we can still repeat, we can repeat within minty. Or is that what you're saying, that I'm required to repeat within minty? So, okay, maybe I'm thinking of this in the opposite way. It's not that I, like, kind of what I'm, what my, right, okay. I just so embarrassing when it's like this, when I feel like I'm like a baby and you're jangling keys in front of me. It's not a criticism of you. It's just on stream when I feel like this, it's embarrassing. Um, we know that like normally with cages, of course, we wouldn't be able to repeat. In this case, we, we, we can repeat and to some extent probably have to because of the number of digits that see mintiness. Like in six, there's a lot of digits that see mintiness. Maybe this is maybe this is what you're getting at. Like these four digits are not allowed to be in mint land, right? How do I, wait, but how do I know there are five minty digits and not just four minty digits? How am I so confused by this? How do we know there are five minty digits and not four minty digits? Oh, because five is minty. Okay, I'm sorry. I see. Oh, good grief. I'm sorry. I understand now. There are five minty digits. Five is a minty digit and X is a minty digit. There are three other minty digits. You're asking me if I had to put another minty digit in this box, where would it go? I see. I understand. Okay, forgive me. So what we're what we're trying to say is that we know there are five unique minty digits because five, even though I colored it here, confusing everything, is a minty digit. 
Oops. Well, now I've made things worse. This this is minty. Um, and what what we're talking about then is there are five minty digits for sure, and only four of them are accounted for in here. But if I put a minty digit anywhere next to the mint cage, it will break because part of the vault rules mean that any digit that is adjacent to a vault is excluded from that vault. So if I'm understanding, you're trying to gently push me towards the notion that this is a minty digit. Is that, is that what we're working on? Is this digit is minty? Okay, the problem, here's the problem. How am I gonna make that minty? I forgot how to do it. Isn't there some insane shortcut to set the color of something? Can't believe that actually worked. I feel like that has never worked for me before. Okay, so we're saying this digit is minty. Right? I can barely see that. I feel like that didn't work so well. How did I do that? I can never get that shortcut to work when I want it to work. Okay, there. Seems to be like slightly more minty. I'm gonna do like a visual minty adjustment. How about that? No, it's not good. I don't feel like that's the color I chose. Okay. No, it's too muddy. This is disaster. Okay, we're calling that minty. Okay, this digit is minty. Seven is definitely not a minty digit because it is adjacent to mintiness. So we've at least rolled a seven out of here. Um, we've got two places X could be. The other minty digits. So these two digits are these two digits. Is that true? No, that's not quite true. Not, that's not quite a true statement. That's interesting. I that, like thinking about that. The restricted, the, the restrictedness. Oh yeah, let's. That's true. We should key out the mintiness and see the, the jellyfish rave going on back there. Um, that is really interesting. Is thinking about mintiness as a set. And there really is no more, you really can't add more to it, can you? We, we can't say mintiness is any larger or smaller than five. It just is five. That is really... Thank you for pointing me to that, because I think that is something that would have taken me some time to wrap my head around. Um, So as far as like actually placing digits, we're doing great. Um, we are, we got a seven on here, which ought to count for something in the world, right? It does, it does. And I'll tell you what it counts for. It means that this, this run is not, um, shoot, there still could be a six here. It means that this is not, uh, there's no nine here. Nine can't be here because seven would be required to be here. Eight can't be here because seven would be required to be here. So seven and eight are not allowed, I'm sorry, eight and nine are not allowed to be on this sequence. Oh my gosh, we're gonna count lavender digits too. Are there are there exactly four lavender digits? Seems that way. Because anything else is excluded. So you're telling me that one either one green or one pink, sorry, one mint or one uh, bubblegum is also lavender? Disgusting. I don't even want to know that. Oh, look at this. Wait, are you just coasting along on ice? Portland looked like this a few weeks ago and it was terrifying. 
Portland was just under ice, which is not normal for Portland. Um, okay, sorry. So not eight and nine are not allowed to be here. Is that interesting? It's a little bit interesting because it means four is forced to be, right? And three it means four and three are on this line. So, okay, I don't know how useful this is. I, like, and I may undo this because I don't like these kinds of pencil marks. Okay, yeah, letter mode screws up the uh, shortcuts in a way that I don't really understand. Anyway, four and three, I don't want to do that. Four and three are on this line. Yeah, mandatory four, three, mandatory. Six is definitely on this line, but it could escape up here. What else does that mean? It means what? It means that one and two are not on this line. So that means over here, four and three are required to be here, and one and two are required to be over here. And that means two is required to be here, right? Always. Two is always required to be here because why? Why is that? It's because one can never be here. If one is here, um, two has to be over here. And if one is here, two has to be over here. So two, three, and four are required to be on this line. So this line is two, three, and four, and then it either has a one or it has a six on it. Um, as far as help, I definitely, like hints are totally fine. My preferred help is if you click the video, if you're on desktop, you can throw tomatoes at places you want me to look. So I'm always glad if you wanna like point me to look somewhere. The big caveat is somewhere sometimes, oh, thanks for the follow everybody, by the way, um, is that I just don't get it. I mean, I, I'm generally on record, I eventually get things typically. Um, so I don't like super explicit hints, but Sometimes don't get frustrated with me if you try to give me a hint and I just don't get it. Helio also learned a new technique that apparently I am incapable of reading um, anything with, uh, if you omit the spaces, which is embarrassing uh, in how effective it is. But what can I say? That means, what does that mean? It means that In terms of nine and eight. Okay, we also have to remind ourselves that split, splitness is only allowed one time. So we could only split this if this was a one and this is a nine, but we don't have to split here. Or do we? Well, I mean, we could obviously have one, two, three, four, five. Where does the nine go? If the nine is here, so there's always an eight here, right? Because if we put a nine here, obviously eight is here. I guess we could put eight here, because if we had nine, eight, six. So we don't quite know. This feels a little restricted in terms of what it could actually be.
I, like, um, hmm. well, let's just go through it. Let's just talk through what this could actually be. So it's obviously not five or seven because it's already already on the rim band, right? It can't be a one because a one would require, um, well, it can't be a one anyway because there's a seven on here. So the, the, the lowest this could be is seven, six, five, four, three. So it's obviously not one and two. For it to be three, it would have to be a four here, but we said four is mandatory here, right? I believe we said that. That two, three, and four are definitely here, and then one or six. So a three here to get five means we definitely have four. So there's no three here. Four, I think annoyingly could be here because it could be four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine over here. That would mean this one is split. This is not split. Well, these would these would both be the extremes and this one would be split in that case. Which of you, do we know which of these people is X? Smart. That's a good tactic. Um, I kind of, all of our letters, I'm just, I just don't think we quite know yet. I mean, in terms of what could actually go here is relatively restricted, right? Like what, what is remaining that can go here? We still have to place our eight or nine. Like eight and nine has to be placed, but then we're gonna end up here with either one or six left over, right? And we know that one is never over here because of the seven. So this is only six, eight, nine, which feels like a lot of places. Uh, Blob said he estimated this at a four star, which is great. I'm excited by that, but you know, it's going to take me a while. Um, so we have a one. Well, one's in here. OK, well, wait, one is never here. Wait, did we just do this? Hang on. OK, check, check, check me on this. I said my remaining digits, I had to place the eight or nine, right? Two, three and four are definitely in here. So I just have one or six remaining outside, right? One is never here because of this seven. One is never here for reasons I don't remember. Right, because it's a 26 cage. There's no one here. So we have a six, eight, nine triple. That is a six, eight, nine triple, which means there's no six here, which means this is a one, two, three, four quadruple, which means this is a fully low digit. Rat Finky, how's it going? Scojo, also a very good one. Okay, this, that felt good. That felt exciting. Having a six in here is funny, but it's possible this could be seven. Eight, seven uh, for 15 plus five, 20 plus six to be the 26. So that could be six with like, no, it, oh, there's no five in there actually. So it's a little hard to have a six in there, but you could have nine, eight and a six and a three. Right, there's no five in here. I remember that. Seems like an important thing to know about. Okay, well, what have we learned about the world? We learned that this is a pretty low digit. Rat Pinky, I'm glad you said howdy. That's a that's a approved greeting as far as I'm concerned. Where where are you from? You're either from Texas or Norway. Who else who else would say howdy? Um
The UK? Okay, I don't know. People in the UK say howdy? I don't think that's allowed, actually. Sorry to tell you. Um, sevens. You know anything about sevens down here? What do we know about sevens? You know, there's none in here. And we know seven is not lime. So there is a seven in this little... Oh, shoot. Almost. Well, okay, wait. Let's think about this for a second. This is a relatively high digit on this little dude, right? So what is the nature of this Rin Ban? That's annoying. This could still be a six, but only if it's like... No, we can't have a lot of low digits here, actually. Wait, think think about this Rin Ban. What are we gonna... We can't get super low with this. I was gonna say, oh, you know, if this was a six, you could get pretty low with these digits. You could have six, five, four, three, two, or something. But if you have three, two here, you're not gonna get your 26. So you've got to, we've got to be a little bit cautious in terms of like reaching this sum. That really makes it seem like this wants to be on the higher side of things. It is a very suspicious Ren Ban. I know one day we'll, we're, we're, I'm going to make um, someday Sudoku RTX for the Apple Vision Pro. It's only a $200 a month subscription, and it's going to be worth it. You'll actually be able to get inside the Rin Bands. You'll just like be zooming inside the Rin Bands. It's going to blow your mind out. It'll be like you're being flushed down a toilet. Um, okay, yeah, this Rin Band is a sneaky fellow. It's hard to be low on here, but it's not impossible because you could have like nine, eight, six, three, for example. It is possible to have a three on this room band. Is it possible to have a two? You can have a two on this room band. If you have a six here, you can't get lower than three. No, I want a uh, hypercube. I want in dimensional Sudoku. So wait a minute. Okay, so the is it po what's the lowest this digit could ever be? We know it's already we already know it's never a one. I'm arguing it can never be a two because the only way it could be a two is if this was a six, five, four, three, two. And that is not going to work because if we have a six and a two, we're wasting two of our digits to get to eight. And then we have two other digits that have to get to 18 and that's not going to work. So this can't ever be a two either. Neither of these can ever be two. This annoyingly, I think, can be a two. But neither of these can be one or two. Yeah. But. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I can see there's, it feels like there's something there, but I'm also feel like I'm not. Uh... Hmm. Once we have the nine, it's obviously very high which is okay. I want a, um, what is that called? When I was in that, um, 
at Ken Perlin's Future Reality Lab, there was a guy named Wimbo, and he was working on a on a like n-dimensional VR hypercube version of Pong, I think. I don't know that he ever did anything. Terrier darts. Oh my gosh, how's it going? Terrier, I, as a tribute to you, I've been making all of the fives gray just for you. Okay, I'm sorry. I've gotten very distracted. This, this, this is just a suspicious little weirdo over here. If I put a six here. Okay, and here's another way to think of it. Sorry. Maybe this is the way to think about it. If I put, if I put a six here, three, four, five, 10, that's only 16. That doesn't work, does it? Is there any way to do this? So if I, if I try to put a six, Three and six would only be nine. And even if I put another, right, okay, sorry. We know this isn't one, we know this isn't two. If we try to make it three, then this is three, four, five, six, seven. So this is six, that's only nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, and the maximum. So that would be 16, and we'd need 10 here. So that's also not a three. If it's a four, I think it could work though, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, because it could be four, six, 10, eight. Well, it actually can't be eight for a weird reason. Had to be seven with the eight up here, I guess. Four, six, seven. Does that not work? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm terrible at arithmetic on stream. Um, three is no good, right? But can does four actually work, or do we end up with the problem where we need like a double eight? And I say that because if we try to do four here, then this is, oh, this could be an eight, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. This could be an eight. So it feels like that could be, I, I, this, I know this is lame when I do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We know this is not a five we have, convince ourselves it's not one, two, or three. If there's a nine over here, then this is definitely the nine. Um, but couldn't it be four, four, eight, And then um, a nine up here. No, why doesn't the, okay. Well, I can't wrap my head around this for some reason. It could also be, no, it, it couldn't be nine. It would have to be four plus eight to be 12. This digit would have to be six or seven. So it'd be 18 or 19. Why does this feel like this doesn't work still? I'm sorry. If this is a four and this is, if this is a four and this is a six, then you could have eight and nine here, right? Four plus six is 10 plus eight is 18. No, that doesn't work. I'm sorry. No, that, that doesn't work. Four, four and six. 
you could have seven and nine. So you could have four, six, seven, nine, right? Yeah, okay, finally, I just got there. Good grief. Terrier, how's it going? Um, I don't know why it took me so long to see. Yes, four, six could work with seven, nine, and that seems that seems okay. Um, I don't know why I kept convincing myself that this had to be in. Um, it does not, in fact, have to be one. Um, I, yeah, maybe I'm just spinning my wheels down here. This felt like a very helpful deduction. Excited about that. What we need to happen is, so it's funny because downstairs, we now have some notion of polarity. Upstairs, we have an invisible notion of polarity. Like if we wanted to, we could, I don't know if I want to do this, but we could start saying those are definitely high, those are definitely low. This is just going to confuse me with these other colors. But I'm going to do it just for this moment. This four. This is a nine. This is definitely six, eight. The nine can still sneak around like a little creep, though. Um, what did we learn in terms of, like, you know, for example, this is a low digit that is not inside pink land. Um, it's funny. This little cage is funny. And it's more just there for the sum, I guess. We're not really excluding anything from it. I guess we exclude this. Yeah, this digit. Um... You know, digit Y. Digit Y is not in there anywhere. Oops. And digit Y is not a five. And digit Y is not um, anywhere inside purple. And digit Y can't be touching lime green. So one of those two people is digit Y, but I don't think we know which, do we? Oh yeah, first rule, normal Sudoku rules apply. So digit Y is up here somewhere. This digit, though, maybe this is digit Y. Um, consecutive in any order means that this could be, for example, this is going to be one, two, three, four consecutive, but in whatever order. So this could be three, two, four, one, or whatever. So that is that is something that definitely confused me when I first learned about bands. But it's it's a consecutive sequence of digits, one, two, three, four. It could, just can be jumbled into any order. So digit Y upstairs. What do we think about digit Y up here? Digit Y is not in there anywhere. Digit Y is not a five. Digit Y is not pink. Digit Y could totally be on a black crappie dot though. 
which is a real heartbreaker. Digit Y, though, is definitely inside uh, purple. So Digit Y, oh boy. Digit Y is in here because it's not pink and it's not there and it's not five. So Digit Y is in here. So that means in this box, none of you people are Digit Y. And Digit Y can't touch purple, right? So none of you people, because if we touch purple, we're breaking these. So none of you people are digit Y. So that means digit Y is here for sure. Oops. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Where's the shortcut? Uh, why can't, I'm really struggling. There we go. That means digit Y is up here. That means this is definitely not digit Y. So that means digit Y is on the black crop key, which is sort of useless. That just means it's low on a black crop key, but that means it's either gonna pair with low or it could pair with six or eight if it paired with high, if we thought there could be a high digit on the black crop key. Kind of lost track of polarity downstairs, but. So at least one digit on a black crop key dot is always low and digit Y is low but there could be two low digits on a black crop down. Um, so that is very slightly vaguely cool. Just extremely barely cool at all. Do you know anything else fun about digit Y? Saying. The row, row, se row seven, column six. Oh, is it more? That seems like a good one because that's such. A, gosh, this is me being ridiculous again. When earlier I said, wow, it's really powerful when things touch both, like in here where they touch two things. So this would be a very digit, good digit to look at, it seems like, right? Binary, how's it going? It's been a long time. Where have you been? I had important things to talk to you about, and I don't remember what they are. Forgotten all of it. Um, okay, so that Y was pretty cool. Now we want to talk about Z's. No, we want to talk about Z's? Z's. We want to talk about Z's. We don't know as much about Z's in terms of their lowness. Well, we probably kind of know where they are in the world, I would assume. Because Z's are not here. Z's are not five. And Z's are not pink. So Z's are also in the Y zone, right? And then, oh, do we have very, very similar logic, right? So Z, okay, is this the exact same logic? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Z's um, are not up here. Z's are exclusively lavender here, so they don't touch here. So this is the exact same logic. So Z's are also up here. Blackjack, thank you for the, the Z suggestion. Um, Z's are up here, meaning that's not Z. So we get a YZ pair, which is tremendously exciting for some reason. I just can't use the... I'm really struggling here. Is it this? There we go. A, y, a YZ pair. We have a proper YZ pair. Um, that somewhat restricts the values available here. Um, somewhat. It is cool. It's great. I love it. It works very nicely that both of these follow the same. I mean, I feel like this, we need to look at these next because there's a similar thing where, um, well, yeah, we can see these are excluded from pink. I think there's going to be some corollary to that. 
about where these two digits can be in here. So we should think about these these two digits next, even though we don't have a letter for this one. But um, let me finish up. My final statement on Zenus is what? Is that this is from one, two, three, or four, or six, or eight, because it's on a black Kropke dot? Not tremendously useful, but it rules out five, seven, and nine, basically. This isn't gibberish. This is important. Wait a minute. Speaking of, wait, what are you doing, man? Just forgot. Why is he so good? Boy, he's being so good, I forgot he was even down here. Bowie, you're being so good. I have the space heater on, so he's just in like extreme chill bliss mode. Bowie. He's just a baby man. Oh, we had, um, I don't know, some like Gardein fake meatballs when I made spaghetti. I made spaghetti for Bowie. Bowie was my valentine. It was adorable. So where is that? This is Valentine date. This is baby man. Best date of my life. Um, okay, so, right. So, it it makes it seem like these two digits are gonna maybe it doesn't work exactly the same way but you, you kind of see what i'm getting at right like Should I show the video? Okay, show the video of Bowie eating his pasta. Let's watch it. Let's look at that there. I made some wine for him, which was just some frozen blueberries and water. And he got to have some nice, a little bit of nice bread. Bowie oh, loves it. Whoa! <laughs> A little bit of spaghetti with just like plain oh, tomato yeah. sauce, no spices or anything. Is that good stuff? He loved it. I don't know that he's ever had pasta before, but he was really into it. We did try, I didn't post the video, we did try the lady in the tramp, like eat the pasta and kiss. I did you get a some kiss more? from Bowie. It's very adorable. Wait, no, no more spaghetti. Hi, oh, kitty gone. I mean, he thinks he's a small person. He's just, a, he's just a tiny, he's just a tiny man. Good boy. Hello, boy bear. Happy Valentine's Day. He had a good time. Okay, what were we talking about? We were thinking about X and then whatever this digit is. So X, X is definitely in pink, but this could be X, right? We know about X in here. He's he's he, he has surprisingly good manners. Um, definitely has taken a while to get in there, but he'll kind of wait until you have to kind of tell him to break before he will take food and he's very gentle about it. Sometimes he turns into a little monster gremlin, but he was he was very well behaved on date night. Um it feels like hmm. like X is definitely not in here. X is definitely not here. But X X is still just floating around up here, I think, right? X is not E. 
because X sees E. X also definitely sees B and C. Oh gosh. With some captions over the text and then like some audio from a completely different video. Okay, sorry, let's think about X in here for a second. I'm so gonna turn off. Okay, so X, I think we know a little bit about X in here, or, or, or maybe a little more than I thought we did. So X in here, we, we have placed X in box five. So X is not anywhere in here, right? And X is touching lilac, so it's not there, right? This is E, and X sees E, so it's not there, and X sees this is a, remember that this is a B, C pair and ignore the fact that B could also be Y or Z. Just ignore that fact. Um, good boy. Ignore that fact. But realize that X sees both C and B because C and B are here. So C and B see this. So this is not X. What song do you think it would be? I mean, I've actually, maybe I'm gonna get in trouble because of the background music of that Bella Note from uh, Lady in the Tramp Plane. So X is definitely here. If this was B, we would know that B is sequential with A and C, which would be sort of interesting because that would mean this was C. That would mean this, if this was B, this could only be A. Wait. Okay, I'm sorry, hang on. Okay, I think I've, I've, I'm having too many things. Um, this can't be B. Can it? I guess if this is B. Okay, sorry, I have to do this again. Helio's with me. I'm, I'm distracting myself. Sorry, I, I, let me just think about this for a second. I think I'm wrong, though. I was going to say, could this be B? B is definitely sequential with C, but it's not necessarily sequential with A. It could be sequential with D. So maybe this can be B if this is... D. In fact, it would have to be, obviously. If this was B, this would have to be D because it's the only other red digit that we could have. If this was B, this would be D. And that would mean that this was B and this was C and this was A. But, okay, I'm sorry. But the... Um, Double B, double B, double B. Okay, sorry. Back to X's. Helio was Helio is with me on this. There's X's not in here. X sees E, looks at X. So X is not E, right? Those are different digits. And X sees both B and C. So B and C are looking down here. So that's excluded. So that means X is in here. Can I do better than that? Keeping in mind that X could be, no, X is not B. Wait, sorry, okay, what did I do wrong? So looking at here again. Sorry, what did you say? You said. Oh, right, right, no, 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 I, sorry, you're, you're totally right. I did that incorrectly. I did it correctly for the E, not for the BC. I'm sorry, that's not correct at all. I know it's not. B, but, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. The, um, let me try that one more time. X is ruled out of here. X is um, ruled out of here. X is not the same as E because that would put
X is not the same as E. That part is true, but you're right. This was not true. The BC thing is not true. It means if one of these is B, it's not X, but I said that that was incorrect. I said something incorrect. Bobby made this, how's it going? It's actually my partner's dog. Um, and he is like a little kind of mutt Karen. We think he's partially Karen Terrier. I'm just dog sitting him now. He's just a little uh, angel baby man. Life is yours, thanks for the gift sub. You're sweet of you. Um, okay, sorry, so X is in here. Everything I said was a fallacy. But it's getting so confusing now with the overlap of X's. And so maybe that was not very useful. The X situation. I really am struggling with these. Nope, not Z. X is in there somewhere. Okay, so that felt useful to get the YZ. It means there's a crop key relationship between these two digits. Sevens. I know some things about sevens, but not enough things about sevens. Row one, column six. Wait, sorry, six. Is this an, oh, right. Are you saying this sees every letter we've already talked about? This sees, couldn't this be E? What's funny is I'm not like at normal Sudoku, I'm mediocre because I'm really not very interested in it. Yeah, so this, you're, you're definitely correct. This is not X, Y, Z, but it could be E. But in terms of like speaking to downstairs, I think you're probably right that it's fine to call this a W because we definitely see X, Y, and Z, which is the thing I was maybe thinking of doing just because I was hoping there'd be an X, W relationship the way that we got a, um, Oh, is this just W? This is, is this W? So W is not here and W is not five or seven. W is not X or Z, sorry, Y or Z and W is not X. So, does that mean that is W? Well, heck, look at that. Duplave. Duplave, duplave, duplave. So we're going to put a, a W down here. So W lives in. So W is a lavender digit. Duplave, duplave, duplave. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. So W is down here. What do we do with that? X is in here, but X could be this one, two, three, four. What do we do about this W? W is absolutely a green digit. That is a true and undisputed fact. Yeah, so like the advance, um, you're probably right. We need a final, a final lavender digit, X, Y, Z, W. Um, uh, Bobby made this in invariant Sudoku. I, it's actually relatively rare in my experience, at least in the puzzles I do, to, that you see like the hyper ex advanced standard Sudoku stuff, like Y wings and swordfish and things like that. You're usually, not always, but you're usually focused on the variant rules, not on the, um, uh, you know, really advanced standard Sudoku. 
I guess. Oh, I see. So we have a W. That's exciting. So right. So we have a remaining... Lavender digit. Wait, don't we have two more lavender digits? I, I'm sorry. What is our, our our total number of lavender digits? Is um, we talked about this song is terrible. Forgive me. The double deuce. So, okay, I, I apologize. We we did talk about whether or not we could have any more Lavender digits, right? Like, have we maxed out Lavender? Because if we tried to have an additional Lavender digit, box two would prevent it, right? Aren't we maxed out at four Lavender? Double deuce, I think of as a, uh, a, a strong bad thing. So wait, Helio, you said Oh, are you saying V just because X is not Lavender? So V would be the remaining Lavender digit? Yeah, V, W, N, Y, Z. <laughs> okay, where is this? Um, hmm. Where do we know that digit lives? We have four lavender digits. So the remaining lavender digit is here because X is not lavender and seven is not lavender. So V is over here. And so this is a WV pair. Is that what we're working towards? I love, this puzzle is amazing. I feel my my biggest worry is that my pencil marks are gonna like corner me. Uh, yeah, 138 minutes, but I have lots of digressions and distractions. I think as, so far I haven't made any egregious errors. Okay, sorry. So we're saying that there's an additional lavender digit in here, aside from these three that we've accounted for, right? There's an unknown lavender digit. Um, but we know that seven and X are definitely not lavender. We know that five is definitely not lavender. So, so V is certainly over here somewhere. And V is certainly in here somewhere. So does that mean this is a X, an X, Y, V triple? Or is that wrong? I know, I apologize. I should just put a camera under my desk, but we might be in trouble. Sorry, what, what was that? Was that tomato about me making a mistake about where a V could go? This is definitely a W. This is for sure a W. So it's not a V because it's a W. So V is here. Well, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Yes, of course. V can't be here because it's touching purple. Sorry. Yes, of course, of course. So V, um, uh, okay, let me finish this thought and then I need to stand up for a minute and get a, few, a drink of water. So uh, what we're saying, I think, is that we're ending up with W and V down here. Double V and V. V and double V. And then, so really, we're saying that this is a. a. Um, a. W. X. Y. Triple. Oops. 
Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. It's really struggling with the letter mode. This is definitely a W, X, Y. No, 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 not W. I'm sorry, just V. This is a V, X, Y triple. This is definitely W. This is definitely X. This is definitely W. This is definitely X. This is definitely a W, V pair. Is that right? You people are killing me. Do you what? <laughs> wait, wait, sorry, what did I do? V Y Z, not X. Good grief. V Y Z. V Y Z. This is X. This is W. This is V Y Z. Good heavens. I mean, we basically know this whole column. It was a piece of cake. We just need to keep adding more letters. Okay, I'm going to get a drink of water. I will be right back. This is ridiculous. I'm good. Boy's good. Is everybody good? Okay. We know a lot of letters. This is very exciting. I am tempted to ditch our like early alphabet letters at this point because they're confusing me. Because we have to remember that this is also a B. You know? And I feel like our end of letters, end of alphabet letters are more explicit at this moment. I think I'm going to do that. Nope. Please let me know if I just made a mistake. C comes out as well. So we got rid of our early alphabet letters. V or Z or Y is a red digit, which is a very exciting thing to, to know. We don't know what that means, but hey. So we have kind of two unlabeled digits here. What do we want to know? What do we want to do with these two digits? One of you people is VYZ. The YZ pair, we have W, E, A, X. V is here or here. We have our VW pair. So those would be the remaining digits in the column and the remaining digits in this box. There would be a triple here. Okay, just because I don't know what to do, I'm going to make this T and U. Which makes this 
a TUV triple, but this can't be V because V can't touch lavender. So we have a TUV triple. So T and U is over here, T and U is over here. So this is a TU X triple. This is explicitly, definitely Z. This is explicitly, definitely Y. Some of these are pretty restricted. I feel like I'm doing texture coordinates now or like doing weird shader stuff. That's usually when I get into like STUV. Okay, so, um, so we have three different things we're tracking. We're tracking like the letters of the alphabet. We're tracking some polarity up here and then we're tracking all the rules of the puzzle. The box eight does look quite nice. The double, we actually call this a, this, we don't call this a V and a W, we call this a triple, a triple U, tri, triple V, triple V. This is a triple V. It's very rare. It always made more sense to me in other languages where they call it a double V, because it makes sense, because it looks like a double V. And in the US, we call it a double U. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like a double U. Looks like a double V. I also love URLs in Europe. A double V, double V, double V. So, what do we know about these digits? <laughs> it's Mr. Scary Muffin. How's it going? Did you learn to speak French from Flight of the Concords? Because that's where I learned. So, so the thing that's a, that's a, that's a, a thing we know is that V makes an appearance both in lavender and in lime green. And we know that T and U make an appearance both in lime green and in pink. So we have lots of annoying overlap. Vacuum, we should. It just makes sense. The vacuum is a weird word, by the way. I don't know that I like it. I'm not sure that I approve of the word vacuum. Okay, what do we know about these digits? They are from the set. W, V, Y, Z. Right? Like, that's a, that's a thing we know about this is that these are from W, w V, Y, and Z. Those are, those are definitely our violet digits. And we know that these, for example, are from the set of T, U, V, T, U, V, X, five. Was that a bad choice, Helio? I don't know. Was it? Was it? Was it? It might have been a a poor choice getting away from A B C D E. Um, anyway, this is a this is from the five T U V X set. So these digits that I have highlighted are um, T U V X Tub X, right? This, dish, this digit is also from the TUVX set. Scott Joe, I feel like... Oh, there's already X and R6. You're totally right. These are not. Oh, we have a TUV triple. Oh my gosh, a TUV triple. Um, Scojo, I feel like that's good content that you should be 
uh, stream right now. That is amazing. We have a Tough X triple, everyone. Which, well, we have a Tuv, yeah, we have Tuv X. So we get rid of the V here. So do we place? No, we, I'm not going to say that yet. How do we place that V? It's very exciting. A Tuv X triple is nothing to be scoffed at. Um, the thing I was about to say is that Well, I was just thinking about this. Um, what is left in row six? We have Tuv X. So we have a, a, double, a W Y Z triple, a Wuzzy triple. Is that true? Is this a wise triple? You could just strap a, uh, strap a GoPro to your head. Um, so this Wuzzy, that's starting to get kind of exciting because we're starting to get some of these things. Wuzzy's a pretty weird one, right? Because there's definitely a polarity split in there. That, because W is of a different polarity than the YZ, for sure. TU could be the same as V. Maybe. Okay, well, that's all tremendously exciting. What else do we know? We know that one of you people... There's a TU in here, and there's a VYZ in here. This digit is here or here. Sorry, you said in box three. Oh, do we have more? What else do we know? I forgot our minty. Right, our minty is X tub five. Okay, so these are from um, X tub five. It's obviously not a five. And there's no, we know where the X is here. So these are tub. So I have a TU, I have a TUV triple. Right? It's, it's pretty exciting. Th this TUV triple knocks this X, this V out, right? Did I do that correctly? This was a tub X5. We ruled out X, we ruled out five. So this is a tub. We had a TU here for reasons I don't even remember. I guess because we had this TU pair. That means this is not V. So this is X or Z, which we know something about. We know that that is from the digits one, two, three, four, six, or eight. Um, oh, wait, did I miss something else? Oh, V is just straight up here. V is just here, right? Because if this triple, triple V is in here, so V is not here. Okay, good. That's a good spot. We got a tux. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what I. That's all I really wanted. Um. Okay. That's exciting. And then Black Jack Fitzpatrick, you mentioned W Dubleve in this world, which is not here oh it is that is interesting it's very interesting so um we know w is not in there there's normal bay not duple bay and we know it's not here because it sees that but it's also already on this rin band so it's not there so that forces duple bay to be in here right so one of you people, 
Oh my gosh, a Q. Get that out of here. One of these is a Dubla Bay. We all we have a Tuv. Not quite. We've got four of our five Minty people. Like that. I'm almost tempted to start to like get rid of my red green coloring up here, just because we haven't even been using it, and instead start bringing our like minty, like bringing our other colors out, because we really have not been using we have not used red green in like a hundred years at this point. How do we feel about that? Is that unacceptable? An acceptable choice. I might regret that eventually, but for this moment. So that means, oh no, we can't because there's overlap. That's not worthwhile because there's there's overlap between these aren't exclusive sets. Like there's some there's some minty digits in lilac and and so forth. So that doesn't really matter. I think I think I'm gonna gradually take over the pastel colors with with the polarity colors eventually, but I don't I don't know. There's always that like battle of how deep do you go with. I mean, it does. It starts. We're getting to the point that those questions might be really interesting. Um, speaking of interesting. What? What do we still need in here? We need seven. We need W. We need Y. We need Z. Is that correct? Is this a seven W Y Z? Quadruple. Yeah, what is going on with all this tub? We do have a lot of tub. That's true. We do know something about Y's. We know something about one of the Tux digits is definitely low. But I don't know which it feels like we're getting very close to understanding polarity. We probably already do honestly, and I'm just missing it. We know, for example, we know Y is definitely low. Y is unquestionably low. Problem is, oh yeah, oh gosh. Do we try to break our letters into here? So this is all squared away. I mean, I'm almost tempted to, like, these are not very useful pencil marks, really. They're really not. Um, I kind of want to get rid of the digits here and bring in letters instead. Because, I mean, they're just not that useful. I don't feel like they're that useful yet. They may eventually become useful, but at this moment, they don't seem very useful to me. Um, Tuvix, Tuvs, we got a Tuvix. Yeah, that thing could ditch it all. The problem is we, we have to get there eventually. Um, this quad. So what do we know about this quad? What do we know about this quad? It feels like an insane thing to pencil mark, but maybe I will. It's going to be the weirdest pencil mark I've ever seen. This is WYZ7.
that doesn't that looks totally normal um, this is not W I feel like there would be more things ruled out than that. WYZ triples there. Seven. Oh, did I miss a block? Wait, sorry. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, of course. There's W here. How could I forget? So this is not... Oh, good heavens. Oh my gosh. That's not W. Okay, I see. I see, I see. So W is here. There's 7YZ here. There's two 7YZs. This is starting to look truly insane. I like it, but it looks insane. Um, X is definitively placed. Streaming Ice Cube, how's it going? So, right, in row five now, this is getting amazingly ridiculous. What? Wait, where's the quad? Wait, sorry, what did you call out? Yeah, there's a V. Um, the seven here, well, there's seven up here and here. And I don't think we've ruled that out yet. So I don't think we can point. Well, it's Screaming Ice Cube, don't be sorry, I did the exact same thing earlier and completely missed that seven. Um, at some point, we're going to have to re reconcile the numbers and the letters, and it's going to hurt my feelings. I just want to think a little bit what we know things about. Like, for example, we know there's a relationship between X and Z that is a, a black crop gear relationship. It's kind of interesting. I think... Another thing, actually, oh, okay, we need to think about this actually a little bit and make sure I don't screw this up because who is shared? So X is, X is in both lilac and pink, right? And V is in both, sorry, mint. B is both in mint and lilac. Six in column three is a great question. We talked about how if these are high, it has to be nine, eight, seven, six. It just has to be. And then the six is not. Well, the, the six is never here anyway. If it's low, it's just not there. Um, where is that fourth? That is high, then this is the six, which has to be sequential with uh, seven because it can't be five. Or six is down here. A tomato. Is it? Is that true? I think we can have a six. Can we have a six over here somewhere? Gosh, we, it's so funny how far we've gotten away from the original, um, a special purple tomato just for you. We really could. We could, we could watch for you using them. Um,
So, okay, just to go back to like two hours ago when we started this puzzle. You're saying six for column three can't go in row seven, column three, or row eight, column three. You're right. Oh, wait, you're absolutely right. There's absolutely a six on here. Oh gosh, how did I miss that? Okay, I was right. This is something we were talking about like two hours ago. <laughs> six is in here, right? So is that what we're saying? Yeah, sorry about that. There's there's absolutely a six on the shrimp hand, which is funny because we've talked about it is. We're so far away from where we started in this puzzle. Remember when we started like trying to limit options up here? I almost feels like we're not even doing the same puzzle anymore. That's really funny. Okay, six is absolutely in here. But it is possible for X and Z to be a six because six is valid on a black crop key. So, okay, sorry. Let's try to think about what this means. Wait, okay, I'm sorry. You're saying the column one win ban. Oh my gosh. How did we not see that like two hours ago? That is so funny. Screaming Ice Cube, we needed your fresh eyes here. That is, I cannot believe that. We we placed these digits and talked about the 689 like two hours ago and then completely just forgot all about it. That is so funny. I'm kind of amazed. We've been like in this crazy alphabet land for so long that I just completely forgot about these things. That is amazing. How did none of us see that? Okay, well, I can't blame us too much because we've been on an insane journey of, of letters and colors. Um, okay, yeah, we forgot to do Sudoku. Just the basic Sudoku. Okay, yes. This thing we should have seen 7,000 years ago is that there's absolutely a six here, which we've, we talked about because there's a five, seven here. There's absolutely a six here. So where are we gonna put a six here? Nowhere at all. It's not possible. So this is this is one, two, three, four. I don't even know what to do now because we have so many letters. Oh, you know what? I think you're right, actually. Blackjack, that I think that kind of makes sense that we 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 probably didn't know this seven at the time. So we didn't know the six. Yeah, now we have to go back to thinking about red. I don't even want to do this. Now we have to mess up our beautiful letters. This is why I need layers. we got to make a new Sudoku pad and add some layers. Okay, how am I going to pencil mark this? Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think there was a time when it was possible to have a six somewhere else. I know, life is yours, that's where we are. This is it, okay, okay, I'm sorry. This is gonna take me a second to recalibrate. Um, this has massive implications. Um, but we've made such a mess of this puzzle that I'm like a little bit hesitant to, to, to dive in. So I'm gonna change the, what was that? That was W, Y, Z. So let's change this WYZ to be corner pencil marks, WYZ. Let's make this one, two, three, four. Right? So we have a one, two, three, four quadruple, which has to all be red because we don't have any greens available. So that is a major thing that's gonna happen. Do we agree with that? That red is now low. Okay. 
Is that fair to say? And so green is now high. That means these are all low digits, which is actually not what I thought was going to happen. I really thought these were going to end up being high. That means this is also green for whatever that's worth. Okay, yeah. Red is low, which actually red was a temporary color before I'm making it blue. So I'm comfortable making this blue now, even though it's going to conflict with the lilac a little bit. Um, oops. Okay, this is our standard low polarity color. This is our standard high polarity color. Okay, we have low digits and high digits. Very exciting. Very exciting. Now, we need to remove all the high digits from here. Because these are definitely all low digits. And what we what we talked about a thousand years ago is this is like an internally extreme digit within the lows. We have this sequence. Oh my god, Helio, no, this is not oil. No, Screaming Ice Cube, you're doing great. The 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 it's just that we've been approaching this from so many different ways that I think we've just lost our minds a little bit. So it is it is very it is actually extremely helpful to have you show up with fresh eyes because all of us were overlooking that six, which is so funny. But I, I'm going to, just to make myself feel better, I'm going to believe that we didn't have this seven previously, so we couldn't have seen it. And just once we were in the world of the crazy alphabet nightmare we've been in, we just forgot about numbers. I, I truly have not thought about numbers in this puzzle for like an hour. I was just thinking about letters exclusively. Um, We really, I should set up like some sort of dog Sudoku for Bowie to solve. He does have some puzzles that he likes. They're mainly just find the treats. So if you hid some treats behind the numbers. Okay, so this is a sequential high pair. This is a high digit that is not seven. I feel like we need to be able to resolve some things now, but maybe we, I mean, in terms of res untangling our letters, like, like these digits are low. T. I don't know how to translate that yet. W we've absolutely placed. W is absolutely high. That's that's a true and undisputed fact. Right, W is definitely a high digit, right? W is definitely a high digit. That means W can't be here because this is a low digit. So that is not W. For whatever that's worth. Should you drink energy drink? What time is it there? Like four in the morning? I'm gonna say probably not, but maybe. Okay, do we know? Problem is we got rid of these letters that we knew something about. This was E. These are the same digit for sure, right? That much we re remember. Seven is either here or here. Okay, sorry, you're talking about row three. Draclan, how's it going? Sorry, I'm behind the chat. Um, you're talking about row three, column seven. Do we know that this is not a seven? Sorry, so what are we doing? Yes, this is a, all these high digits. W is high, this is all high. Did we say, you know, remember 100 years ago, our very first deduction in this puzzle was about the, the ability to mix polarity? Or like, sorry, split polarity on a rim band, meaning we have low and high digits. Seemingly, we just haven't done that yet. This is also high, high. 
Um, which is funny because that's something we were very concerned with early on. And at this point, we have not done it. But the, the question was kind of still, um, but I see what you're saying. No matter what, we need a seven on this because it's it has three high digits. Um, and there's only so many high digits in the world. Does that... Okay, I apologize. I'm being very slow here. We think there's definitely... That's obviously not a seven. So that's six, eight, or nine. Do we know that from somewhere else? Like where W is here? Maybe not yet. Um, anyway, if we didn't have a seven... What would these digits be? It seems not possible, right? It does still seem possible that this could be a four, though. Is that true? It, 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 there is a world in which this is still a four. But no matter what, with three digits above five, we, we have to at least deal with six, seven, and eight. So does that mean this is either a four or a nine? No, because nine could be up here and this could be some other high digit. So this is either four or a high digit that isn't seven. Four, six, eight, nine, maybe. There's probably, maybe there's a reason that can't be four. Anyway, the whole point of that is to say that this is not, um, not seven, right? Sorry, I'm very I'm, I'm behind on chat. Forgive me. Okay, so we're saying. Okay, so um, sevens in terms right, and now we're asking the question of like, is seven any of our weird coded alphabet? And the answer is I don't really remember. I don't think. Oh yeah, right. Obviously it's not because um, if we think about where seven goes in here, seven is not a five. It's not low. It's not any of these digits. Seven we have said is up here now we have made this claim to ourselves so it would seem that seven can only be here and that means this digit has to be six or eight only right we also know that then this is the seven this is fully extreme so one of these is a nine right i mean this is this is six eight nine for the six, eight, nine, triple, but what, so one of those is definitely the nine. Um, so there's no, there's no nine, oops, there's no nine here. So that's exciting. Um, this sequence is a funny one. We know these digits are represented here. So we know TU, for example, is definitely a low digit, right? This this digit, no, we don't know that, I'm sorry. We don't know that, we definitely don't. Because we don't know that this is low. That was a falsehood. We do know that this has matching parity. Can we decide anything about that yet? Feels like we should know more. This still could be a four. This is always high. The alphabet tool is really screwing with me. This, these are all absolutely low. That is the thing we know. This is absolutely high. That is the thing we know. Um. If this is a nine, then this has to be a nine. This YZ, we know a little bit about. Feels like we're getting to the point that I probably just need to think about Sudoku 
which nobody wants to do that. We know there's a seven. I really screwed up on my um, shortcuts for some reason. We got rid of the seven here. So that is now just YZ. So seven is here or here, which seems to check out. W, W, one of these digits is a high digit. V we don't know about yet. So in terms of some of the polarity of the other front, I mean, we probably know something about this now. I don't even want to, my brain doesn't want to think about it. It's refusing to, but we probably know something about that. Um, y we absolutely know is low. Why don't we have Y isolated? There are seven here. We have one of our high digits here. This digit is a high digit. Do we know X? Yeah. X is not over here. X is not touching Frendo. Well, X is not, oh shoot, oh, I don't know that. I'm getting very confused with uh, the mixed markings now. This we know is a, so if this is high, it can only be eight, nine. Right? Because seven's not available. So if, it, if this is high, it can only be eight, nine. If it's low, then all of these are high, which seems a little wild. Oh, Helio, thanks for hanging out for so long. I appreciate all your help. Um, YZ could still be at, sorry, I feel like I'm just missing something obvious here. Part of it is going to be like just mentally untangling some of this business. We don't know that that is X. We know X is in there. We, we have placed X here and here. Just trying to look at stuff that we have determined colors for, but it's, it's we haven't really done that much. Uh, in terms, like we figured out the um, W basically is a high digit. Um, we really have colored most of the rim band. Should we just, is that what we need to do? Like finish the rim band coloring? I don't think we quite know about this. It, it feels still like this could be high. And it feels like this could go one way or the other. This one just looks bonkers. I feel like we also, it just feels like we accidentally have things touching cages that shouldn't be touching cages. Maybe that's not true, but I have that feeling like something is nestled up somewhere that it shouldn't be. Nobody wants that. Illegal uh, cage cuddling. Not allowed.
you're saying in column three, five or six. Right, and you're saying that, right, right. Okay, we should pencil mark that. We talked about there being a six in here, but six can only be sequential with five or seven and it can't. So that's not the six. So six, that is kind of useful, actually. I like that. That's great because it puts six inside lavender for sure. Six is definitely inside of lavender. What do we do with that? Okay, I'm sorry. I appreciate everybody's help, but it's a little hard to keep up. So, so you, oh, do we have W in row two? That's a great point. That is a very good point. In this box, we know W is a high digit. It's not seven and it's not here. So one of these is absolutely W for sure. And so that is not W. That's great. Good, good, good eye. Um, I'm fighting so hard with just being able to type letters. You are a... Oh boy. Why am I struggling so much here? You, you are not W. I feel like I've deleted things I didn't need to delete at this point. You're W. Double, double Q. Okay. This is definitively W. Right? Are we comfortable with that? Okay, I am so behind now on what people are saying. Um, so... Right, well, one of these is gonna get forced low and it's obviously not this one. That is a good point. Right, so the question being is like, where, where to put the one? It can't go on this ram band because obviously that ram band has some high on it. This ram band has some high on it. So this this is a low ram band. So this is a one, two, three, four ram band also. Is that true? I'm scared to do it. Does that sound correct? One can't live with this high digit and one can't live with this high digit. So is this one, two, three, four? I don't want to do that. I have to change all my pencil marks. I mean, maybe maybe it's starting, maybe it's time to let go of the tucks and tubs and whatnot. I'm not, I'm not emotionally ready for this, especially just because I'm having such a hard time with this. Okay, that was, T U X, T U X. This was T U V, T U V. This was Y Z, Y Z. This was Tovex. Oh, I did it wrong. Not Z X. T U V X. T U Tovex. T U V X. Right. And then we're saying that this is fully a low Rin band. Right? Is that... Do you believe me when I say that? What am I doing here? That this is a completely low Rin band, which means that this is a... Uh, that these are high digits. But it still seems like the four could sneak by. I cannot, I, it's weird how the keyboard shortcuts change when you're in alphabet mode. It kind of drives me crazy. That's true, I probably could have put one, two, three, four there. No, I'm, I'm wanna, I wanna slowly and painfully convert everything to numbers. I want to excruciatingly, uh, Okay, we have one, two, three, four. That's exciting. Um, 
it still feels like four can sneak around over here. Maybe that's not true, but it still feels that way. Like four could just be like a sneaky creep. But I don't know that I know that. I know that I think that, but I don't know that I know that. Um, and this wasn't just a tub X, sadly. I mean, we definitely are getting the point that our, our letters are, uh, maybe the entire end of alphabet lettering was all a fool's errand. I'm not ready to admit that to myself. In fact, I refuse to admit it, and I will never admit it. But, um, awesome. What do we know about X? I feel like we used to know something in the world. Um... So what did we say? We said if, if this was high, it had to be 8, 9. Do we know that Y is low, finally? Oh, we knew that. We did know that Y was low. Right, okay, that's, that's a fair point. So this is not Y. Is that what we're saying? That is not Y. Y is definitely low. That is a true and undisputed fact. So this is why. Is that what we're saying? Why is why is definitely a low digit? Why can't be here? Because why is not allowed in Minty Land, and why is not high? Why couldn't this be why? Oh, because this is actually this is an honorary Minty person. Yeah, I need to make it even more confusing. I'm gonna start annotating with sounds. We'll just have like certain clicks and whistles. Okay, so, because this is actually Minty. So this this is not Z. Oops. This is not Z. This is definitively, unquestionably, undeniably Y. What does that mean? That means that Y down here is not there because y is there it's not there because y is there y is not minty we still have to think about that 26 sum also by the way um but so it feels like any of you people can be Y. Maybe. Oh, right. Okay, that's amazing. Good grief. So now we actually, so right, this Y sees this Y. So this is not a Y. Okay, I've, now I'm just not seeing anything. I'm gonna try to, I gotta get my head back in back in the game. So we definitively have Y here on the crop key, which is exciting. The Z, do we know, if we knew the polarity of the Z, that would be an exciting moment in my life. We seem to not, we seem to say that Z is high. Why do we say that? Because this is not Z, because it sees a Z. This, these are all minty, and minty digits are not Z. Is that why we say this? Z is not a minty digit? Is that true? How do we know that? How do we learn that Z is not minty? I mean, Z is, Z, all, all the options for Z in here touch mintiness. So Z is definitely not minty. So if that's true, Z is not any of these minty digits. And Z is not here. That means Z is definitely a high digit, right? 
So if if z, are you with me? If if z is high, it has to be six or eight. Oh yeah, x is never minty. That's true. No 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 wait x x x is minty. X is always minty, right? Right, right. Z was, Z was, you're right, you're right. Z was just a leftover when we were coming up with Minty. So, sorry, what, but the, the thing I'm trying to work towards, and I feel like I'm getting there very clumsily, is now we know that Z has to be either six or eight because it's on a black crop key, right? Uh oh, what are these tomatoes? Did I make a mistake? Um, this Z is six or eight, and that means Y is three or four, right? Is that true? So I'm gonna say that uh, Z, really having trouble with these pencil marks, is six or eight, and Y um, has to be three or four for that crop key. So that means y is not one or two, and it means y is not one or two. Okay, that's exciting. So we've narrowed down, now we have some relationship to our letters and numbers, which is a exciting, an exciting time. Um, thought we knew a little bit more than that. Right, this z is high. This is this is definitively Z, and it is six or eight. And this is W or Z. We have W in here. Oh, it really does. Right, right, we said this. Right, okay, cool. We can't, um, but that's still possible, right? Couldn't that be an eight, nine with a six there if it's high? No, because that's not enough digit. Okay, well, whatever, this isn't high no matter what, because we already have three high digits. This is definitely low, because we've said this is the same. Sorry, we said this is of the same polarity. We already have three of our high digits, so th this just has to be low, right? This is required to be low at this point. That means that's all the low digits here. That means these are all required to be high. That means these are all the low digits here, and this is required to be high. That means these are all the high digits here, and these are required to be low. Okay, I feel like this is about the... Um, this feels like it is having an impact because we actually finally get a four here. Because if this has to be low, I hope I did that correctly. That means, oops, that this is not four. Four is gonna be up here somewhere. I don't think I care at a second. We finally get a one here, which is exciting. Um, so this is a two, three, four party. It's not, it's either two, three, four, This can't be two anymore. This is a three. This this could only be a two if it was one three. So this is a three. So there's no three here. This is a two four pair. Okay. I feel like we're on kind of a roll at the moment. My watch wants me to stand up, but I'm not going to do it. Um, one of these digits is the other half of the two four pair, and one of them is a three. Um, Okay, I just need to. I I think I just need to focus for a second and, and think through this a little bit, like, um, or just like think about Sudoku for a second in my life. So, this is not one or four. So this is a two or a three. If it's a two, it can only be next to a one, because it can't be next to a three. And if it's a three, oh, this is only good grief. It's only one. That just is a one. And this, because there's, that's digits are all there. And that is just a two. 
So this is not one or two, so that's a three, four pair. So that is a one, two pair, so this is a three. That's not a four. Okay, can we just like do Sudoku at this point? What I'm confused about now is it feels like, yeah, we're doing, it's starting, we're like starting to fill things in. It's sort of a shock. What I'm worried about now, and maybe it's not that big of a deal, is I feel like I'm, I've lost the thread a little bit on, like this isn't a Z, for example. I, I've, I've lost the thread a little bit on what, well, this just, that's a three, four. So yeah, I've just lost the thread a little bit on what is or isn't allowed. Um, that's not a Z. We don't, we haven't definitively said X is polarity yet, have we? I kind of forgot where else X was. It feels like we probably know that. And I'm just inching along. Um, one of you people was W. Where's the nine? This W, W could be the nine. Am I missing Y's? Probably. Um, sorry, we're saying this is definitely a Y. Well, right, because Y is, y is definitely not high. Oh, boy. Good heavens. And Y is not three or four. And Y sees this. So this is just definitively Y, right? Because Y is three or four, but it's not this. What did this four do over here? So that that makes this high. Okay, that's another important that's another important thing in this world because this is three high digits now. So we need to be a little cautious about how high this digit is. In fact, I'm going to say it has to be low. Did I make a mistake? Okay, I I think I'm getting there. I think maybe I'm getting there. I'm, I'm just thinking about the 26 for a second. So this is three high digits, and even the lowest of the three high digits sum to 21, right? Like if these were the lowest three high digits, that would be 15, that'd be 21. So this would have to be a five. Could be no more than five. So this is definitely a low digit. And it's definitely not a three. Um, where's the other high? I feel like my pencil marks are completely insane now. All right, to try, okay, so to continue with this sum, we said one could never be in here anyway. That's a. I'm really struggling. I don't know why. I, I think, yeah, Helio's right. Well, I guess when you put it in letter mode, the shortcuts change. Anyway, so this is either, um, we either have to sum to 24 down here, um, or we have to sum to 22 down here. If we sum, Is that right? That's 26. We have to sum to 24. We have to sum to 22. So 7, 8, 9 would be 24 plus 2. Which would work. 7, 8, 9 plus the 2. Or um, or with the 22, so couldn't that be six, 
seven, nine. So right, you're saying either way that there's a seven down here. That I have to have a seven in here because if I don't have a seven, then it's six, eight, nine, which would be 23, which is not good. So there's definitely a seven in here. Is that what we're is that what we're working on? There's not a seven here. That means you're not a seven. It means this is the seven over here. You're six, eight, nine, something. Um, that means there's already a seven on this rim band, so this is not a seven. I already knew it wasn't a seven. I don't remember. So if it's a Z, it's a six or an eight. But I guess W could be nine. I think W just is nine. That sort of makes sense. What is V? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. There's a six right here. Outrageous. So we have eight, nine here. Okay, I know I'm behind. I'm trying to miss something. Oh, I do need to finish. I'm at the very end of Yakuza. I was thinking of just doing like a cleanup stream. I have a little bit left to do to, before I like actually wrap up the game. So I was thinking of doing that today, but this is now an incredibly long Sudoku stream. So maybe not gonna happen today. Okay, um, it feels like we know more about parody and I'm just overlooking it in a silly way. Do we still not know the parody of X? That seems crazy. I thought we knew more about X at some point in my life. But maybe we don't. Oh right, yes, I'm sorry. This 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 six C's over here as well. This is just lazy pencil marking on my part. But that still could be a Z, I guess. Or a, 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 a double V. Definitely seven up here. Seven, seven. Seven is over here. So does that mean this is a seven? We said seven is definitely in here somewhere and seven is definitely in here somewhere. So seven is definitely in here somewhere. I think this means this is a seven. Do we like that? I hope we do. My brain is definitely getting tired. I can't even work these buttons. Okay, so we got that seven. So that's three of our high digits. Is V? What is V? I don't even know anymore, honestly. V is a low digit, right? I really don't remember at this point. No, V is minty. Is V a low digit? I kind of think it is, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm really not. One of you people is a three. A whiteboard, or I can just get like red yarn and have a crazy conspiracy. There's certainly a three here. That is a that's a statement that I'm willing to make. Um, who's the other half of the three four? Is it X? It could be X. We had a couple more relationships, didn't we? We had a relationship with W. One of these is high. V, we have not. The nature of our V relationship, don't know that we fully define. I, I'm positive we had a few more relationships over here in terms of, meaning like we knew which digits were where. And now I think I, I mean, we, you know, we just got rid of those pencil marks 100 hours ago, but I, I think there's some communication between these two boxes that we're forgetting. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to just think about volts for a minute. 
Like, one is obviously not there. One is touching this vault here. So one is not there or there. And that, and one is not there and one is not there. So one of these digits, either T slash U or X is one. Um, and that means one is in here somewhere. It doesn't appear to be in there. One could be here. Who else is touching stuff? Who else is touching things they shouldn't? Secret private things. One in here. One is not anywhere in there. And one is touching this cage, so it's not there. And that's not one, and that's not one. But I guess we're saying one could be X. Does Severance have good computer UI? I wish somebody would try to make a good UI. I'm so disappointed. Like, Linux desktop is so embarrassingly bad. It's been bad for 30 years. And, like, no one tries anything imaginative or interesting. It's just a race to the bottom of C to see how quickly people can rip off, like, versions of Windows and Mac OS from 10 years ago, which is the only thing Unix UI designer, like, Linux UI designers can understand. Okay, well, Chrome's crashing, so I can't look up the Severance UI. Binary, will you post some? I want to see some screenshots of the UIs. I want imaginative UIs. I'm tired of garbage windows floating in space. I'm so disappointed that we're moving into mixed reality with the Quest 3 and the Reality Pro, and it's still just a bunch of stupid rectangles in space. Outrageous. Period. Um, you're absolutely right. There's a 3-4 pair right there in front of my face. That's, that seems important. Surely we've ruled out some of these people's ability to be certain numbers, right? I feel like now I'm just fighting against my own pencil marks at this point. Like it's just a pencil mark battle. It feels like there's probably some extremely obvious uh, Can this really be W? Didn't we knew something else, right? Didn't we know something about the relationship of these or related to here? I'm I'm positive we had some additional understanding of like digit relationships, but they are just fully escaping me at this point. Um Do we really believe this could be a four? If it is, then this is a four. is here for sure Z could be six though right feels like um, there's some vault logic I'm just missing it doesn't yeah it doesn't you can bend your rectangles all you want it does not it's embarrassing how unimaginative people are. It is so embarrassing. There's not even like bad versions that are good. It'd be one thing if somebody was like making insane, bad, unusable, like window managers for Linux. I would still be excited about that because at least people would be doing something interesting, but it's not. What was that one? Who shared that? The Serenity OS, which was like, let's just try to recreate Windows 95. That was just the peak of UI. Embarrassing. How did it get so bad? I guess the point is it's like desktop operating systems are dead and that's fine. I mean, maybe there just will be never be innovation in there again, but you would hope there would be something interesting moving into mixed reality, but not there. I'm just a rectangle too. It's sad. 
this is look this rectangle world we live in. It's a it's a it's a sad state of affairs. It's true. I should like change the shape of this. Can I like? I, I could I could round the corners of it. It's still a rectangle. It's still a rectangle. Um, <clears throat> I could set up two cameras and do like what is it? An anaglyph? Anagraph? What is the term? Like the red blue stereo pairs, and then everybody wear, could wear three D glasses. Should I start doing that? Should I start streaming in three D, and everyone could wear three D goggles? Or I could be a furry avatar. That is also a choice here. Um, maybe tux triple. Okay, I'm I'm positive that there's some low hanging. Uh, feels very likely there's just low hanging parody right in front of my face. Right? And I'm just somehow not seeing it. But one of these digits is high. Like that, it's T U V. Oh my gosh. Yes, you're absolutely right. Good grief. Rat Pinky, thank you. I will just, now I'm off being mad on rectangles. There's a four here. There is a four here, which means there's no nine here, which is very, it's a, a lovely thing to see because we, we are not allowed an extreme Rin ban when we have a four. So that's a six, eight pair. So that's a nine. So that's probably going to do quite a lot of work, huh? That takes the nine off of here. This is an extreme Rin ban, as best I can tell. It's going to require a nine. We had some notion of the sum for this, but I'm just ignoring that for the moment. So we get a six, eight pair here. So we do get a nine here. Um, this becomes a six, seven, eight triple. But how exactly is it composed? So we have a nine and a seven for sure. And then we have either six, eight, which so we have either eight with a two or six with a four, I guess is the composition we're aiming for. Um, is definitely not a nine. There's definitely a nine up here. Wait, did I miss something? The addition here? Did I screw up? Wait, do I know this? I didn't think I knew this yet. I thought it was nine plus seven to make 16, and then I need 10 more, either eight, two, or four, six. Uh, do, do I know that? Not entirely sure I know that yet. It does mean this is a six, eight pair. These letters are kind of cramped in my style though. Got it. I gotta say. I got to say, but this is a six, eight pair. So this is a nine. Is X nine? I don't know. Definitely nine up here. Yeah, I think, I think we will, one of these days we'll figure it out, whatever's going on there, which maybe we sort of know, but maybe we don't. Um, this is a six, eight pair. I hesitate to remove these, but I feel like the letters are just confusing me at this point. So I kind of want to just get rid of the letters. Sorry, letters.
Okay, sorry everybody. There's uh Oh wait. Is WZ definitely high? W W is definitely high. Oh and Z is high. That's true. That's true. That's great. Okay, I like that. That is true. That we should have seen that a long time ago. This is not Y because of this. And we, we know definitively definitively that W and Z are high. That is a that is a good one. I like that. I know I'm missing other things. Um but that one, I'll take it. That means this is low for sure, right? I'm really struggling with the shortcuts and I'm just I'm just doing it. Sorry, goodbye, all the letters. They're just confusing me at this point. Um, I might regret it. I'll probably regret it, but I feel at this point, I just wanna see, I just wanna work with what we got here. Um, this is a 6-8 pair. This is a 6-8 pair. 7-8. Okay, Rap Pinky says they can go. I think they can go. I think I think it's time. Um, I might regret that. I really might. Now I can't remember if W's can be none or not, but I think they can be. Don't like this one too. Uh, Life is yours was loving the music. I'm sorry. Um, yes, the place where we know single definitive letters seems somewhat useful. All the corner marks seem a little insane is what I'm going to say about that. But now I worry I'm going to like, con like convince myself of something that isn't true. Is W68? I think W can be 9. Z is 68. Z is 68, but W could be 9. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I still haven't really fully decided. X is polarity. Oh, you were jamming? I did not like that song. I apologize for ruining your jam. Did, did we? Well, in that case, I did replace it with 6-8 because there was a 9 here. Sorry, everybody. I feel like I'm, I've lost the thread a little bit. Am I, I? I'm a little. Did I make a mistake? Uh, this WZ, I explicitly did not make nine because nine could see it. Otherwise, W could be nine. I think that that was my thinking. Was that did, did I make a mistake? Box is four and six. Well, look at that. There is. Look at that. A six eight party. So, do we think that W is six eight then? Is that what we're prepared to say now? That W is six eight? That sure, sure looks like it is. Is that right? Both of these are six eight. Are we comfortable with that? And this is six eight? These three are six eight. Right, right. Can't be. Um, they can't be minty because both six and eight touch mint. So we're saying W is six eight. Is that? And then that means there's a six eight down here, or whatever that's worth. 
but we're comfortable changing the three digits I have highlighted into six, eight. I think I'm comfortable doing it, doing it. I did it. I did it. So one of these digits is a nine. And one of them is the other half of the three, four. Who would have thought? Who would have expected that? I thought W was going to turn out to be nine. This has been a real shock. We got like rogue six, eight pairs all over the place, it feels like. But the other, there's definitely a six, eight. There's definitely a six, eight in here, right? Because W is 6, 8. So there's definitely a 6, 8 in here. So this is not a 6, 8. It's not a 7. But could it be a 9? I don't know. But that means this guy's 6, 8 pair friend is down here. It means this guy's six eight pair friend is down here. So it means this guy's six eight pair friend is up here. So it means one of these is six eight. I do need to think about mintiness though. I mean, just by the, the power of mintiness, we know that one of these is six eight. I want to be honest with you. I kind of forgot about the mintiness. Um, I just haven't even been thinking about that. We probably should should start thinking about that again. Because we had some very powerful communication along the... Uh, I'm sure Blobs is going to watch this and just laugh at how like the, the middle two hours spent marking everything with letters, which probably has, actually wasn't necessary, but what are you going to do? I feel like also we're supposed to know the polarity of X by now. We know that one of these is a 6A. That is for sure. Whether the other half is high, I don't know the answer. We know that one of these is 9. Where's nine in here? Okay, I'll just think about nines for an hour or two. Nines are not anywhere in there. Nines are not also not anywhere in there. Nine is not the number seven. Nine is not the number five. Nine is not the number seven. Did we miss something here? Nine is definitely over here somewhere. Oh, nine is not a low digit. That is very true. So that means nine is down here. So that means this is a one nine pair. Is that true? Why did I say that? Okay, let's just think about it from that perspective. Where is one? One is not there. And one is not anywhere in here. And one is not five or seven. So one of those is a one. And I think the same is true for nine. Nine is not anywhere in here. Nine is not low. Nine is not five or seven. So I think this is a one nine pair. And so this is not a one. So that is confusing. 
but it means... What does it mean? It almost means something. What does it mean? It means... I mean, the Z is not 9. I don't think I thought it was. Didn't we think about where 6-8 could go? The other half of the 6-8? No, there's a 6-8 in here, and there's a 6-8 in here. So in terms of... That's a little frustrating. The 9... Nines almost are doing work. Well, okay, let's think about nines a little more. So nines, um, there's no nine here. Nine is not a five. Nine is not a six or an eight. Nine can't touch this cage that has a nine in it. And nine is not a seven. So one of these digits, one of these digits is a nine. And that means nine is in here somewhere. Nine is in here somewhere. Nine is not here. Nine is definitely inside mint. So nine is not here. So this is a nine. And this is a seven, is that right? So, right, and it's because of that, we know this is an extreme digit. So this is not a nine because it sees a nine and it can't be a four now. So we get another six, eight, which fell, feels like it means something. Um, oops, shoot. Um, and it does mean something because we have a six, eight pair here. So one thing it means is, is it that this is a 6-8, because remember, this guy's 6-8 is down here. So this guy's 6-8 is up here. So one thing it means is that this is a 6 or an 8. And the other things it means is that this is a 9. And the other thing it means is that this is a low digit. It means that's not a seven. Are we doing okay? Everything going okay here? No good? I'm worried. I'm worried I want to make some mistakes here. So, um, so we have our six, eight pair. So we have a six, eight pair and seven and nine. So this is definitely low digit. Um, that is definitely not three. What's funny is these two digits are up here. One, well, it's not a one, so it is two or four. It's this digit is here. This one nine pair, so that's not a one. The one of you people are a one. This is low. That's one, two, three, four, but not three. It's a row. Um, this column is missing a low digit. Remember when we spent a thousand hours just doing all those letters? I'm just gonna pretend like it never happened. Um, that is true. There's a six, eight pair right there. And so that is a seven, which is exciting. So but we knew that. Do we know this yet? If it's a, we need, we need 10. So if it's a six, it's a four, it's an eight, it's a two. Feels like we're gonna get into trouble with mintiness in a minute. The letters definitely helped. It just, um, I don't know that, that my, like, my pencil marking eventually broke my brain. I blame my pencil marking more than anything. That's what I'm trying to say. So three is over here. So there's definitely a three. Yeah, okay, this is good. Um, where's three in this row? It's definitely in here. So one of these is a three. So mintiness has a three in it. So 
We're never allowed to touch Minty with a three. So this is not a three. So this is a four. So that's not a four. That's not a four. We get a one, two pair now. So this is the three. That's not a three. This can't be a four because it's touched. So it's a two, that's a one, that's a four. And it's fine because it's diagonal. Are we okay here? I, the pencil marking, I, I don't know that I, I've definitely had certain kinds of puzzles where pencil marking is the bane of my existence. I've been trying to do genetic puzzles. And by that, I mean, I've just tried one and looked at another, a second one and, and did not finish it yet. Um, genetic puzzles where every digit explicitly has two very important properties. Um, I definitely struggle to pencil mark well. I'm, I'm sure there's some good strategies for that. The volts are a little tricky one. I mean, like the, the volts, volts are challenging for me just because I have just this default idea that you can't repeat digits in a cage and it's like some deeply ingrained thing. And so I have to continually, I feel like actually on this puzzle, this is my first volt puzzle where I'm finally getting around that. Oh my gosh, X is nine. Oh my gosh. I just glossed right over that. But yes, X is nine, right? This was X in a previous life. This was X, right? Now it's been so long ago since I got rid of that pencil mark. Uh, sorry, how did you figure out row nine, column six was not two? because it's a Y. Because at some point we figured out that it was a Y. Um, maybe because of this, because we knew it was low and we knew it was Y and we knew it was paired with a Z. And if you have a low high digit on a black Kropke dot, it can only be three, four. I think that's how we figured that out. Oh, that is true. Right, so then there's, yeah, thank you. Right, so two is, um, two is not here by that. Two is not here by Y-ness. Two is not here by two-ness. So that is just a two. Okay, thank you for that. And right, so nine in here, X is just straight up nine. Um, the moment we've been waiting for for so very long. That places the X slash nine up here. That places a low digit here that is a one or a three. That does... Maybe the other half of this six eight pair down here. We also need the other half of the one, two, three down here. Oh, we have a one three pair, so we get the four here, the three here. That is four, so by cropkiness we get eight. This Y becomes a four. Um you're not a four, so we get a one three pair here as well. This becomes a six eight, six, hopefully this just unfurls the six and sixes and eights everywhere. This is a digit that is low. This is a digit that is high. We get more sixes and eights and sixes and oops, eightses. Ah, the six and eights is really held out until the end. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this puzzle this long. I actually can. Blob's warned me. Um, okay, so we know the other half of the 6-8 is in here. So there's definitely a 6 in here, along with some other digit that no one likes or cares about. Um, I don't remember what it is. This is a 2-3 pair, it would seem. And this 1-3 means that is a 2, and that is a 3. Uh, I don't even know what these letters... I'm just deleting these. I don't even know what these letters mean anymore. Apologize if they mean anything to anyone. To me, um, you are just a four, and you are just a three. That means four is over here, which it is. It means three is down here, which it is. What could be here? Maybe I shouldn't have deleted those. I don't know if we're at the point where we just do to Sudoku or if we use our brain. Oh, we got this math for free. That's exciting. I mean, we. 
we used it previously. Um, so this is one, three, eight, but this cannot, uh, this already sees a one. Why am I having trouble seeing this? Oh, the three is there and eight's here. Okay, I'll take it. That's a one, the three, the one. That's an eight, the three, the one. That is a two, that is a one. We said this somewhere was a six, which is here. And we said we needed a something low. There's a two here. And this looks like a four nine? No, not a four at all. A three, a three nine? That's the nine, that's the three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody, especially all the new people, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out through all of that. Thank you for, as always, for your patience with me as I stumbled through. That was a great puzzle. Um, I'm not sure that I necessarily think we approached it in the most expedient way. The thing is crazy is how many different ways, yeah, go to bed. How many like different approaches this puzzle took? Oh, thanks Rat Pinky. Like, I, for those of you that weren't here at the very beginning, whatever, four hours ago. So that was a four hour solve. Um, we got the first eight, the first nine digits in like 30 seconds because of this beautiful arrangement of win, win bands just gave the fives away immediately. And then once we had that, we had like some really interesting pressure up here in terms of polarity. We didn't know the polarity, but we were able to split it. So we got that like three and a half hours ago. And then the northwest corner of the grid just kind of sat there for three hours while we went around to the rest of the grid and only much later were able to resolve and bring it back. Now, admittedly, I do feel like um, Screaming Ice Cube's fresh eyes on spotting the six over here, uh, which honestly, by that time, I just wasn't even thinking in digits anymore. We were just in letter land. But that six was a very powerful six. Blobs did warn me. Blobs even gave me like a simpler puzzle. Oh, wife's out of town, so you get to party with Sudoku, I see. Is that, is that how it is? I don't know that I'm emotionally ready for a second puzzle after a four hour puzzle. That said, Blobs did give me Let me just write four hour solve sweating emoji on the uh boy does boy need a walk boy's just chilling okay do we need a puppy break let's have a puppy break and then we'll look at this blob said here's a gentler vault puzzle so maybe we'll now that we're like really tuned in to voltness maybe i will try a gentle hey. Hi. he had a pee when we were walking over here he's doing okay he would let me know would you know go outside? Wait, what'd you think of that puzzle? You loved it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This is Bowie. He is almost four years old, even though he's like perpetually a puppy. He's got eternal puppy, puppy vibes. Um, okay, you people are dangerous to my health, but let's just say, Blob sent me this and said it was a gentler bolt puzzle. Uh-oh. Cut and paste break. Uh-oh. Maybe we can't do it. I think Discord just crashed. Why would this, why is Discord so bad? Why are computers so bad? Discord just crashed in the process of trying to drag and drop a URL. It's a very complicated thing, I know. Trying to drag and drop a URL from one window to another. I can not blame it for crashing. 
So what do we have to do? We gotta go try to kill. I love how Task Manager brings the computer to a crawl. That is a beautiful thing. What a garbage operating system. It's so bad. What are we doing over here, Discord? I should like get a drink of water or run around the place. I mean, the Sudoku is, is high demand. It's very high demand. I mean, the... admittedly, I'm running some complex shader wallpaper, but I'm going to ignore that fact. It's not an excuse for crashing when I try to cut and paste. Um, okay, so because you people are... Okay, message from Blobs. Congratulations on making it to the solution. Thank you, Blobs. Okay, so... We're gonna try this gentler puzzle. Oh no, did it break again? Are you serious? Dragging and dropping a URL just crashes Discord? Amazing, amazing. How do you write software this bad? I feel like you have to try. I've written a lot of bad software in my day. Never anything this bad that I would like expect millions of people to use. I would be embarrassed. There's a, I, I'm not the biggest fan of John Blow. I have some problems with John Blow, but one of the, he gives this talk at one point where he says like, like making your software perform well is a moral imperative because basically if you write bad software that wastes a million people's time, you're like wasting lifetimes of time. You're like wasting entire human lifespans. And I, I happen to agree with that. I think there's a, it's a moral imperative to not write absolute garbage software, but that's all we do now is write garbage software. Look at this beautiful grid. So we've got arrows. We've got normal Sudoku rules. This is called spires. Did I do this one? I don't think I've done this one yet. Cages, okay. So this is very simple. This is just arrows and bolts. So surely we can figure this out. Is that true? When the software runs poorly, it makes people just want to use it even more? Maybe. Okay, so what do we know about anything? We're not exactly sure where to start. Ones are pretty restricted in terms of arrows and ones touching um, a couple different cages here. So ones might be a little interesting. I guess that's true. I mean, who knows? The problem is, is probably part of the reason all this software runs so horribly is because of the analytics, like the garbage analytics uh, plugins that they're using to try to measure your engagement. So it's like this Heisenberg thing that by trying to observe someone's experience with your software, you're giving them a worse experience with your software because analytics code is is almost without exception, like the, the worst code I've ever encountered. It's usually like, it should be the simplest thing because it's doing nothing but like logging an interaction basically. But it's it's usually, especially for the web, it's like so bloated and terrible. It's amazing. Everyone's bad at their jobs, including me. Um, okay, so ones don't go here or here. One also touches both of these vaults. So ones aren't allowed inside of those vaults. One cannot go Maybe one wasn't very interesting. I was wrong about the ones. The ones in retrospect seem boring. I mean these just don't seem super restricted at this moment, right? Let's turn off the letter tool because I feel like it's really cramping my style. Um, okay, the ones, I failed with the ones. One plus two plus three. This is a minimum of six. Um, any other long arrows? The only long arrow? I guess so. We got these little stubby baby 
short arrows. So that is a high-ish digit. Right. Oh, that seven's touching stuff all over the place. That's kind of funny. That seven, that's a wide reaching seven actually, right? That seven goes all over the place. Look at this seven. Okay, I'm gonna just highlight the entire grid and just talk about this seven only. So we're seven, um, obviously not in the box, the row, or the column. Seven is also touching this cage. Seven is also touching this cage. Seven over here is on this line. So seven's not here. That puts seven on this arrow. So that's not seven. Is that all we can do? I, I, I thought there was gonna be more to this seven. Um, Okay, sorry. What are, yeah, right. The sum of this, whatever this is going to be afterwards. Okay, sorry. I thought that seven was going to reach around the world a little more. Anyway, so we're going to put a seven on here. We're going to put a seven on here. Um, that means this has a seven plus one or two. So this is either an eight or a nine. This one is funny because if it is a seven, it's just a seven, or it's a seven plus, or it's a, it's a seven, eight, or nine, right? Couldn't, couldn't that be a nine? Sorry, did I miss something here? The seven, um, can't seven be anywhere in here? If that is a seven, it's just a seven. If it's here, this is eight or nine. So isn't that seven, eight or nine? Yeah, I think it can still be a nine because the one isn't quite crammed in in, in there yet. Um, Oh yeah, I, that was probably not even worth pencil marking. The ones are too much. I was, I was, it was foolhardy. I thought the ones were going to be more exciting than they were. They were not, unfortunately. Uh, sorry, you said. Why isn't this a one? Row three, column six. Ooh, interesting. You're saying if there's no ones on these arrows, you have an insanely high sum. That's interesting. I hadn't even con considered that yet. Um, but is that not okay if you have a one here? But I see what you're saying. Without the one, you have the triangular number for six. but without one. So it's essentially 21 minus one, 19 plus seven becomes 26. And then you need three digits to be 26. And the most three digits can be in Sudoku is 24, right? That's interesting, cool. I, I had not even begun to think about anything that hard yet. So that is very impressive, good job. Um, 
That puts one down here. It makes sense. It makes total sense. It's just I, that is a thing I would not have even thought about until like for half an hour or something. Um, we that's definitely not a one. That means that one is inside this this land. Because that means this is not a one. Actually, that would have ruled. Um, um, right, we're gonna have the same problem in box four, where we would have. Oh, we'd still even have extra here. That would even be higher than that. But right, so this is six cells, summing to one, two plus three plus four plus five plus six, which is the same as one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six minus one plus seven. Um, to be 27, which is too much for those to sum to. So we couldn't do that. That is true fact. We can't do that. Um, there's definitely a seven here, and there's definitely an eight or nine. So this seven definitely has to go with a one or a two. So that's gonna be a fun party. This can't be a one though, because it sees this vault. Right? So I row six, column two. And then it can't go in box seven. Oh, sorry, row six, column two. Oh, that's true. That's another fun one. Great. So if, if you put, um, that's a fun one. If you try to put a one in here, there's already one here looking down here. If we try to put a one in here, it obviously rules this out, but it it also sees, uh, it, it sees these by the medium of the volt. So if we put a one here, it excludes those as well. And that means there could never be a one in that whole box. That's a fun one. That's nice. Good spot. That's a great one. Um, gar I guarantee you, anytime you see roads, I have a real problem with anyone giving me Sudoku coordinates and I get it wrong every time. I should just always mentally add one because for some reason I intuitively pick the wrong number every single time. It's just a fun thing that I do. So there's definitely a one in here. If... Right, so there's definitely a one in here. If it's one with the seven, it equals eight. Okay, this is a, a, a very roundabout way to say this, but our options here are, there's a one here and there's a, not, a seven in here somewhere. So if we don't put seven here and we try to put nine here, then we have one seven, which sums to eight. So that can never be nine. So either we have an eight with one seven here, um, I think the best way to pencil mark is we have eight with one seven, or we have seven with one six. So this is either it's one and it's plus six or seven. Um, does that seem right? I don't. I don't. It's weird because I. There's lots of cases in which I think very hard all the time about like grid-based coordinates. I don't know why the row column thing screws me up so much. I don't I don't know why that is. Um, you know, because I think about pixels constantly. Um, right, so we're, th that's, that means that, well, seven was already touching this, but now one is also touching this fellow, right? We got a fellow toucher here. Um, so, CSS flexbox. Then you don't even think about anything. Rows or columns just get laid out for you magically. It's incredible. Um, okay, sorry. I'm. I'm. I gotta. I gotta try to like. I have to think of things in the order that my brain does. Because if I just try to think of things in the order that chat thinks of them, I will inevitably crumble. Um, 
or I will just like lose my ability to, to, to solve. So I have to get, let me get my head in the game a little bit here. So we were thinking about ones, which was exciting. Um, ones become, we definitively have a one here. We should, we should be sure to record that because one um, is definitely not in there, but one is now definitely touching this box. So that's not a one and that's not a one. That's not a one and that's not a one. This is probably what you were telling me to look at, but I just have to go about it in my own slow way. So one is here or here. How do we feel about that? Well, we feel that one is definitely not in here. Those, oh, that could still be one, never mind. One is not um, here, but this could still be a one. No, sorry, this can't be a one. This can't be a one. That's not a one. But that still feels possible. Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, we have to we have to be sure to sum these up. Well, but it's gonna be on an arrow no matter what, right? You, oh, you're saying in um, column five, Oh, because if I don't put it, I see what you're saying. Wait, can I have a two, three, four? But it's, it's possible to have a two, three, four here with a one over here, right? In other words, this doesn't have to be a one. Is that, is that what we're saying? Um, you know, that'd be two, three, four equals nine. And then you could have, uh, you know, some other digits that were different. Okay, it doesn't sound possible, does it? If this is two, three, four, then this is nine. And then we need two digits to sum together that don't have one. I kind of still think you could do it. If you had the two here, you could have one plus whatever to get that and two plus whatever to get that. That is a good point. There's another arrow down here. But, right, if you have two, three, four here, well, then can't you just have one something here? Oh, but we're saying the one would be here. So there wouldn't be a one here. So it'd be two, three, four. That's interesting. I see. So just in the column. So if we try to do two, three, four here, then we're saying this is the one. And then what are we left over with here? Because we used one, two, three, four. So we use five, six. We can't do that. Is that, is that what we're getting at? So am I saying this has to be one? Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. Right, because if this is one, then this has to be two, three, four, and then this is absurd. So this is not one. So this is one, oops, which is boring. Um, it does mean that one is down here, though. And isn't it placed? Because we know there's a one here, and it's touching the box. So it's not here. And we can't have a one in here because of that. So this just is a one. And it's not plus two. It's plus seven. So that is eight. Are we happy with that? 
no, it's okay. I've, I'm also like four hours plus into this stream, so I feel like my comprehension is not um, perhaps where it should be. Um, so that's exciting. That is ruling eight out of this box. So does that mean this is an eight? What an interesting shape. Is that true? That means eight is ruled out of all of these. Cool. Well, that's cool. And that means eight is what? What does that mean about eight? We still think eight could be there, I guess. Seven is definitely in here. One is definitely in here. So, it feels like I should know more about eight then. Eight is not there. Eight is not there. You're not an eight, by the way. I don't like this song. Sorry, the row nine circles. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, because of the four or five. Normally you might say it was Why can't wait, why can't we have a three here somewhere? Because if we had one three couldn't we though? Is that not allowed? couldn't have a one, two with a three here. Twenty one, eighteen. I see what you're saying. So the minimum would be 21, the minimum would be 21. And even if we had eight, nine, that would only be 17. And so the other one would be, um, could not be, would be four, but in this case, it obviously can't be four or five. So that is, I think that is true that this six, seven, eight, nine, and neither of these are eight. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay, because, yeah, be, in other words, it's like, if we put one, two, three, four, five, six, which is the minimum we could put here, it would be 21, and then even eight, nine together would be 17, so the remaining one would need to be four, but it can't be four, it can't be five, so, interesting. But it feels like we're going to rule something out here. Like, that eight was crazy. We know more about that. Like this eight, there's no eight in there. There's not eight here or here. I guess we're not touching. So one of these is gonna be eight plus one equals nine, right? Isn't that a requirement? Sorry, one more time. There's no eight here. There's no eight here. So eight is gonna be on this arrow for sure. And so one of those is nine, so this is not a nine. Yeah, so... Um, so one of these is certainly a nine. Yeah, that's funny. So there's an eight there with a one. So what are you? could be two with a four or a five. You could be three with a four, be four with a two, five with a two, two, three, four, five for these digits. 
it's like because we don't know that much about those one of these is certainly eight one I can definitely feel my brain slowing down. Just wondering if we're gonna have like this. What is this digit? It's not one, seven, eight, or nine. Oh wait, sorry, you're saying that eight. Um, okay, wait, I'm sorry, there's a, two exciting conclusions here. Um, okay, everybody's jumping all over with math. I will warn you, my, my brain gets very slow with arithmetic on stream. So yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna like piece through this a little bit. So in what we have down here, we definitely have an eight one sum. That will just be nine plus a six or seven. But uh, you're saying that th we still have to end up with a nine here? I guess I'm not quite seeing that. Oh, because even if this is, one of these is definitely a nine. And if it's nine plus seven, that's only 16. But we have to get to 24. Is that is that what we're saying? Sorry, just bear with me. Um, one of these is absolutely a nine. And even if we pick the other digit here as the seven, that is 16. But we know, no, but that's, we only have to get to 21. I guess I'm confused on why, why do we have to get a nine? Okay, I'm sorry, I feel like we're not talking about exactly the same thing. Um, or, or maybe I'm responding to somebody else. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm thinking about this here. I'm sorry. I'm responding to, to Blackjack, not the not the the clone five. Oh, ah, ah! I see what you mean. There's an eight on the arrow. Ah, of course. I see what you mean. With the eight on the arrow, right? The twenty-one was only if it was one, two, three, four, five, six, but it's obviously not. There's an eight, so it's one, two, three, four, five, fifteen plus eight, so the, the minimum is 23, I, I see. So, which, but, right, right. So if this was nine and this was seven, that's only 16. So we would need seven, but we couldn't have seven again. So this has to be, we're saying this has to be eight. But, okay, I, be I believe that Screaming Ice Cube is right, but I'm, I'm trying to do one thing at a time. And so responding to Blackjack, are we saying that this is the eight? Right? Because otherwise we're not gonna hit that. So this is the eight. So this is the nine. So this is a this is an eight and this is a one. Is that where we are? And this is a one. Okay, that that sorry, I just was trying to wrap my head around that. Okay, I th I, I think I see I think I understand that now. Um okay, got it, cool. And then Okay, cool. Thank you for your patience. My brain is definitely tired. So, um, we end up with the eight here. Does that affect us in terms of, feels like we have made some choices. Just in terms of boxness. Okay, so, right, and also, uh, in addition, is 
Well, another big question is just where nine goes in this column, which we should have asked hundreds of years ago, probably. Right? Um, that's not true. Sorry, nine could be there. That was that was a, that was a false, false statement. Anyway, nine is is obviously restricted. It's certainly not on the arrows, and it's not an eight. But I was thinking, yeah, I was mistakenly thinking that nine saw this box, but we don't have that yet. Nine does not yet see this box. Nine sees this box. So like nine over here is a bit restricted because it's not there and it sees the box. And nine in here, well, nine in here, yeah, okay. Nine is gonna be in this box because nine's not there and nine is obviously not on an arrow. So one of those is the nine. So that's not a nine. So one of those is nine. Okay. These nines are in the box, but that's okay because nine is in the box here as well. So nine is definitely in this box. Do we care? Maybe we don't care about that yet. Okay, everybody's good. I feel like everyone has fully lost their patience with me. Okay, I, I just, I just have to, I just have to do it. I just have to do the puzzle. Um, okay, so let me just try to do the puzzle. Um, it just feels like there's some pressure here. I'm, I'm certain there's more arithmetic to be done, but I just, I don't want to. I don't want to do the arithmetic. I want to think about bolts for just a minute. Just let me, just give me that. Just let me think about the bolts. That's all. Um, even though maybe it's not that big of a deal yet. I mean, like the seven. I thought we decided something about seven, but maybe we, maybe we didn't really yet. This is going to be a little restricted. Certainly not one seven, but it could be five three. Or two six. Yeah, in fact, the six, the six is either the six is here, and this is five three, or the six is here with the two, and this is the seven, and this is three four. Is that always true? Seven one is never here. Still feels like no seven's just here. Good grief. Okay, sorry. Seven is not here. Um, seven is touching this cage, and seven is those digits aren't seven. So this just is seven. So this is either two five. Or it's three, four. That's not seven. Um, that definitely puts the six over here with two, though. So that's six, two. This is not two, five. So that's three, four to be the seven. That's two, six to be the eight. Eight, one to be the nine. And that leaves us with nine, five. Okay. Is everybody mad at me? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I just feel like you know. I, I, sometimes it's just hard to tune into all of the all of the chat. Yeah, it really. I have a hard time with it. I really do. I'm sure there's people that do way better with it, but like reading the like glancing at chat and trying to parse the coordinates quickly is just. I'm just bad at it. I'm frankly just bad at it. But um, so thank you for your patience. But that feel that feels pretty good. So like for five and nine, for example, are in the cage, which we know we knew that anyway because it's just we're relatively restricted what we have available here. In fact, we just know it. It's three, four, five, nine. And we have a three, four pair looking here. 
And so the other half of the five nine could be there. I don't know that it was very useful to pencil mark that three, four, five, nine, but I did it. Screaming Ice Cube, you're too good at these coordinates. Row one, column five. This is row one. This is column five. I don't know why I always want this to be column six. That really screws me up on indexing puzzles. It's also a thing that I don't know why. When I do indexing puzzles off stream, I don't have a hard time with it. When I do indexing puzzles on stream, I struggle deeply. What's Bully doing back there? Oh, Bully's just chilling. He's just chilling. Let's put the camera on him instead of on me. Um, right. How how would we do this? Six could, six is only one plus two plus three, which is not possible because it's a three four pair. So that is definitely a nine. That is definitely a five. Um, there's no fives in here. Three four nine. Is that a half of the. Hmm. Anyway, so now we need two digits that make eight. That we need two digits that sum to eight because we already have one. We don't have, it's not seven, one. It's not five, three. Well, in fact, six, two is just the only thing. You could also just look in the column and see what is there. Um, so that's exciting. That means, well, this is not an eight because then this would be nine, right? That means this is the eight. Three, four, five, nine, four, five, nine, but it's not three or nine. So that becomes four, five. So that is either five or six. I'm sure at this point that I'm messing up. Um, do I set? I haven't. I've, I keep thinking about it. I definitely have an idea for a puzzle I'd like to set, and I keep getting distracted. Um, Blobs was just telling me about a new Sudoku setting app that I'm interested in trying it. But not yet. I have not yet. Someday. Someday I shall. Okay, what are we talking about? Box seven? What's going sorry, what's going on in box seven? That's box eight. Good grief. You're saying seven in box two. Oh, heart. Um Right. Okay. That's interesting. That's great. Good insight. So if I could just follow words. For seven to go on here, this would have to be eight or nine. It's not eight. So it'd have to be, sorry, it's not nine. So it'd have to be eight. So it'd have to go with a one, which it can't do. So that just is the seven. So this is from three, four, five, but we see the three. So we get a four or five pair. So this just is the three. So this is three plus four equals seven, or it's three plus five equals eight. That means there's no threes here. That means there's definitely three here. It means there's definitely a three in this cage. I guess we knew that already. It's definitely three in this cage as well. So three here becomes sort of restricted. And eh, maybe not as, as restricted as I'd hoped. Um, three is not over here. Three is not seven. And three is not allowed to touch this cage, right? So that's not three and that's not three. But three is actually allowed inside this cage. So maybe that was not cool. Um, it seems like we have millions of eights and nines all over the place. Do we know more about them? Um, nine in here. Nine is not on any arrows ever. Nine is not on any arrows ever. Nine can't touch this vault. So nine is here or here. Maybe that's not very exciting. Nine 
No, no, no. Nine can't be here. Yeah, this is nine. That's nine. Okay. So that's four, nine, five. Hopefully this unfurls. Uh-oh. Wait. I made a mistake. What did I do? Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What did I do? This is, this is where we need tomatoes to let me know. Okay. I'm sorry. Where was my mistake? Was where? Was on... Um, in column six. Yeah, where did I where did I lose my two? Okay, that was just a bad pencil mark. Sorry about that. It wasn't just three, four, five. Wait, where where is my two? How did I lose how did I do this? How did I never get a two in here? So that's not a four nine pair, is what you're telling me is there's a two here. That is a nine, but there's a two in here. Is that is that what I'm missing? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is true. So I missed a two here. That was just a bad pencil mark. Is that true? Okay, sorry about that. Silly mistake. Um where's so this is eight, right? Because of the, where are we gonna put eight? Eight can't go here because it would need a one. So that is the eight. So this is one seven. Hope this adds up. Um, that means six is here with a three, which seems right. Which makes this a four and this a two. Okay, are we happy now, I hope? See, anytime I enter a whole bunch of digits really quickly, I try to immediately look at chat because I'm always sure that I've made a mistake. That felt a little better, I hope. That means that's not a three. There is a three up here. Oops. Nope. Eight in box one. Seems interesting. It's not there, and it's not in any of these people that are touching this box here or here. Well, I guess we kind of knew where eight was anyway, huh? So eight's in here. I'm not sure if that's what you're pointing out. Sorry if I'm completely off track. Um, Sure, there's lots of those now. It just feels like there's lots of invisible pressure. It's like um it's not it's not a negative constraint. It's definitely a clear constraint. It's just it feel it has that almost feeling a little bit where it's like, oh, I'm just there's some obvious constraint that I'm violating that I just am currently not seeing, is is kind of how I feel with these uh with these puzzles. These people, all these little people in here in their little cages. Um, okay, sorry, box six. What is going on in box six, everybody? Well, let's talk about box six. The remaining digits in box six. We do need an eight in here somewhere. We need um, a two in here somewhere, we need a four in here somewhere, we need a five in here somewhere. That is not an eight. I feel like something's violated here, but I guess not. Two, four, and five are all actually allowed in this box, surprisingly. This is not a four, and it's not an eight. This is not an eight, because if I put an eight here, right, so where's eight here? If I put an eight here, this, this is a big number. It's too big, it hurts everyone's feelings. So this is an eight. So this, we have a two, four, five triple. And what you're pointing out is if I don't have a two here, then it's a four, five, and that's a nine, which is bad. So there's definitely a two here. There's not a two here. Which means there's a two inside this cage, which means these digits are not allowed to be two, and it means you're not two. 
Can all those really be two? That's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something more exciting than that. Lame. Nine's, nine's better. What about nine? Nine is not here or here. And nine is not in the cage. So this is nine. We probably need it's new from some other by some other means. It does put a nine down here. Um is that allowed? I guess so nobody's touching the it seems surprising to me that that's allowed. Nine is down here and it's not on an arrow, so that is a nine. Um I already knew 9 was in here or here. 9's in here or here. We know that 6 is over here somewhere. Could be on the area with the 3 to make a 9. Look at this dance. Hey, Scott, 2, 3, 4. Sevens. I don't think about sevens. What's going on with sevens? I mean, there's a seven right there. It's a filthy naked single. Hot naked singles in my area. Um, sevens. What do we know about you people? You are not allowed to be a seven. You're allowed to be a seven. You're allowed to be a seven. So there's a seven in here and it's not there or there. So that is a seven. Which means you're not allowed to be a seven anymore because you're touching that cage. So you're a one, you're a seven. You're not a seven, you are a seven. You're a seven, burn. We need a four, a five, and another digit over here that is sometimes known as a four, a five, and a two. Walk into a bar. Um, are we going to have the same problem here? If we don't have a 2 here, we're going to have 4, 5 equal 9. So there's definitely a 2 here. Probably knew that anyway. I knew that anyway. Um, of course we knew it. Knew it all along. Um, this digit's kind of interesting because it can see into this cage. But at the moment... Eight can't be here. So eight has to be here. So eight has to be here. Um, I feel like I have just stopped looking at sums at this point. This is two plus four equals six or two plus five equals seven and it's not the seven. So it is the six. So it's a two four pair. That's the two, that's the four, that's the five. Did I do that correctly? All right, chat. Did I screw up? Is that right? Oh my gosh, Ice Cube. All right, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a great night. These dirty sexes, sexy sevens everywhere. Um, that is a two four pair. So this is just a six. So six is not allowed in this cage anymore. So that is a two and that is a six. Rat Pinky agrees. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much for, for all your help. I really appreciate your fresh eyes on that last puzzle. Uh, this is a five. Sometimes it's hard to just see what numbers are. Um, we need one and two and four. You are not one. You just are one. You are four. You are two. Um, there's a three inside this cage. So this is a six and this is a three. These sneaky ones. <clears throat> um, we need three, six, three, five, six. That just is a three. But you can't be three, five, eight. So you have to be three, six, nine, five, not a nine. Life is yours. Thank you for hanging out. Have such a good night. I've missed you. One day we'll do a text stream, I swear. Just kidding, it's all Sudoku now. That's a three, five, three, five. This is missing two, which is in the cage, and it is missing four, probably. 
That is a four plus a two equals a six. Ah. Oh, row six, column two. What did I miss? Row six, column two. Maybe I already did it. Or maybe I, I saw it in another way. That was not as expedient. Um, one, two, three, four. That gives us a three, four pair here, finally. Feels like we should just know all of these things. There's a nine here and a three. Which we know. And there is a one here. I was gonna say we need the one, but maybe we don't. There's a one here and a two. And the two can't go here. So that's the one and that's the two. Puts a two up here. Puts a one in here, which is allowed. That puts a number called three in there. That puts a number called five in here. And that puts a number called six in here. Okay. Admittedly, much, uh, much smoother than the previous one. I really wonder. I so I'm I. Uh, oh, thanks everybody. The um, it was interesting to see everybody to kind of go for which I've you know no complaints about. Just everybody has their own way of approaching. But like people going immediately towards the sums of the arrows. I wonder if that's really required. I'm I'm not fully convinced that it's. A requirement. I think it was helpful and I think it's a totally valid way. I think if I was solving it off stream, that that would not have been the first place I was looking at. I think I, think I would have been looking more aggressively just at Volt Logic, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe that is, there's, some, I don't know. I'm, we'll see what Blob says. There's something, I'm going to embarrass myself by saying this, but somehow that doesn't feel very Blobsy to me. And that's not like a criticism. It's not a value judgment. It's just a statement is that like arrow sums like that doesn't really feel blobsy to me, but I could be totally wrong. So I'm interested to know if, uh, if the intention was to do that. Maybe it is. I mean, I can definitely see why people would gravitate towards that, especially with the arrows like this. And I know that is a very common tactic with Aero Sudoku, so I won't be surprised. And again, it's a weird thing. And, and, and I, I say this only as someone that has done a billion blobs puzzles. It just doesn't feel blobsy to me, but hey, I could be wrong. And no complaints either way. Um, it's probably a thing that I would have banged my head on other stuff and eventually sort of begrudgingly done that. But I'm extremely on record as saying I lose all ability to do a simple arithmetic on stream. And so I try to avoid it at all costs. Okay, that was a five hour stream. That was not really my intention, but it was fun. I really appreciate everybody coming by. I really appreciate the raids. That was really nice. I was definitely not expecting such a turnout. Um, really enjoyed that Blobs puzzle. As a preview, we're not gonna do it. I hope you don't mind Blobs, but as a preview, Blobs did send me a new, uh, a new concept a new puzzle concept that I'm interested in. I don't want to do it right now, but let's just take a look at the new, do I have a Discord? I do. I think you can ask for it. Does that work? The bot is probably broken. Did it work? Okay, sorry. The bot is broken. I think it's, is it in the channel info? One day I'll fix it. The problem is I keep not doing any of the tech streams where I would do things like fix the bot because I just keep playing Sudoku. I used to just basically only do, and now Chrome is just broken. Okay. Um, is it in the channel description? If not, let me see if I can get you an invite. Um, meanwhile, this is Vault. So let's look at this. I'm not gonna. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. The bot is. Where is the bot? This is the bot. The bot is broken. This is the channel bot, broken. It's sitting on my desk for like a year plus, probably longer at this point. I don't even want to think about how long it's been. But anyway, let's look at this. I'm not gonna do it today. Maybe I'll do this one off stream just as a, to relax my brain a little bit. But. So this is a vault puzzle. Cages marked vaults in which digits may repeat plus sum to the value shown. Digits orthogonally adjacent to a vault may not be included in the vault. So more vault rules. Now, there are nine positive poles 
one to nine months each, one in each row, column, and box. There are also nine negative poles, one to nine, once each, one in each row, column, and box. Each vault contains exactly one pole. Oh boy. A vault containing a positive pole has a total sum that is the sum of its natural digits plus twice the value of the polarized digit. A vault containing a negative pole has a total that is the sum of its natural digits minus twice the value of the polarized digit. For example, a two cell vault showing a total of negative 17 must be a one nine pair with a nine being a negative pole. I'm not emotionally ready for this after streaming for five hours. We're gonna have to wait and do this another day. Oh boy, negative six, zero. So is a pole How do you do this? How, how do you do this? I was just looking for like where I think the break-in would be. I don't, okay, I'm not emotionally prepared for this. We're gonna have to do this another day. Yeah, yeah, we just, we can't, we can't do it. We can't do it, we gotta stop. That's too much, okay. You are all the best. Thank you. As usual, I am so impressed with kind of the grace and patience of the group of people who watch these puzzles. I, I have no idea how people are so infinitely patient. Blackjack, you are out of control. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. It's not in me. I do kind of want to do Helio's latest um, uh, genetic puzzle. Let's just look at it. I, 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 I Again, I'm not emotionally prepared for this. Where, I think he put it in the Discord. Let's see if we can find it. My computer's definitely angry with me right now. I think Discord is actually, well, never mind. I think Chrome is now crashed, just officially crashed. So, okay, maybe that's a good time for the stream to, anyway, I, if you haven't seen any genetic puzzles, let me see if I can open Microsoft Edge and maybe we can at least look at a genetic puzzle. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, this. Like, this um, is an older variant that I think is, like, making a resurgence. Yeah, so I did this original one. So Helio has a new one that is bananas. It just, it is, looks, I, I'm not, again, not emotionally prepared for any of this. So I'm going to, we're going to say goodnight. Bowie's going to say goodnight. Bowie, say goodnight. Boy, you just chilling? Chill as F. Bowie man, are you so chill? Boy's just warm. It's cozy in his little bed. He's a good little guy. Okay, everybody, so many people stopped by. I, I, Chrome is actually crashed right now, so I can't even read chat. You'll notice the music stopped. I presumably am still streaming. I'm going to assume the stream is over. I won't do my normal sign off message in the chat because Chrome is just fully crashed. So awesome. Computers are amazing. You're all great. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Goodbye.